The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I'm just saying, I just, it, 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 it's 90 degrees out. <laughs> Go ahead, though. Welcome. <clears throat> I didn't like how you did that. <laughs> I was talking to them, bro. I, I was just saying you said something. All of y'all. And I know you to be a man of your word. I did say that when I was excited about moving into the new place, the balcony, mm -hmm. the sun, the pool, and all that. It's supposed to be a setup outside or something? I told them that in the winter, when the summer get here, I'm going to do some live action shots of women in bikinis running around hookah back there. That's hard. Catching a vibe. All right. That's smoking. fire. That's just sound fire. Yeah, that's fire. That's what I thought. Yeah. But then yeah. as the months went on, I remembered <coughs> all of us here are married or in, invested in really committed, mean, like, really committed relationships. <laughs> so that probably would be like the satanic thing to do. That's satanic. not why you didn't do it. Though. That that's wouldn't bullshit. be fly. Like the only person here that's single is Mel and she's not. That's not her bag. We'd have to bring niggas with massage tables over here. <laughs> so that didn't do that's not our bag. That's, that's not, not our bag. Definitely not so, our bag. We jumped that nigga. He come over here with that massage table. <laughs> he was, him and that table. Yeah, but I just didn't think that would be like, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's the be best fire. thing. To I do. thought it was. I fire. think that's hard. It would be yeah. fire. Cause I now, just because they just because I'm in a relationship, yeah, that's, they just walk. I walk yeah, past walking by. It's like, well, yeah. also yeah. now, be clear. In the event that any of you guys want to throw that type of function. I'm, I'm down for that, too. Any, any of y'all could fill up the balcony with... It's window dressing. Company. Don't right? stop. Window okay. dressing. Oh, you want me to bring my... my, my I, I can fill them up out there. I'm, I'm down. Okay. I'm down for that. Check IDs. Don't look at me. <laughs> Check IDs. <laughs> do you know what you doing? Yeah. What you mean? What would you say? <laughs> We do have to check out these. We can't just have people coming. You crazy? That's true. That's true. All right. The company. Yeah, All right. Nah, it felt different. Yeah. It felt, it felt, it felt yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It felt reasons. different, dude. Yeah, Reese is know. one of my favorite rappers. <laughs> That's why this interview is going. I'm gonna start with love. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, man. But just know, anytime. You know. I'm, I don't know why these people's labels keep sending them here. They didn't send me. I told them I wanted to pull up. I don't know why people say that. <laughs> why the labels say, okay. Why, why do people be like, no. Yo, I want to go holler at Joe right quick. For real? <laughs> <laughs> Joe might ask some shit. Some yeah, tough man. questions? Yeah, but I asked my brother Reason. I said, what's off limits? Nothing's he lied limits. and said nothing. <laughs> but the bright artists always say that Then when it gets crunch time, they try to some word they way up out of what they don't. Now nah, someone else will contact you and say that part about such and such. Edit that out. Yeah, take yeah, that out. We need to edit that on out of there. Yeah. yeah, that happens all the time. Especially too. if you know the people that run his label. Which yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you Good got guys relationships over there. To, uh, to protect. Do I? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. What was the question? Change right. If you have relationships yeah. to protect. Yeah. Said if they I hit him up to edit it up. Yeah, no, I know. I changed. I've been saying you changed. I want to start you this with, with me. ladies and gentlemen, we have our good brother Reason here. Yeah, <laughs> um, rapper extraordinaire, our man, friend of the show. What happened to the big yeah. Reese chain? I don't even want to talk about that right now. Oh, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I had a drunk night and, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Trying to figure that out. Now, before Reese got here, he said, anything you want to talk about? Not we can. Not <laughs> nothing, yeah, no, but not, <laughs> nothing is off limits. My bad. That, that is. That is and just, sure enough, <laughs> we start out. Question one. It's still a source. Question I got, one. I got drunk and I left it in the Uber. Oh. Uber. That's what happened. So I'm still like. Why'd you take it off recovering. in the Uber? You said what? Why'd you take it off in the Uber? <laughs> drunk, bro. Like I have. Uh, I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. I don't know if you know how big this chain was. I don't know yeah. if you've been there before. <laughs> I've been that drunk where I... Well, you I'm taking stuff off you, can't, you can't really explain yeah, yeah, yeah. why you did it. Well, you know, where, I, where, I I had a, yeah, where I had a very expensive stuff on, and it's, in the same yeah. scenario, I could have totally gotten fucking rolled by the driver. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I've been there. Yo, I don't know. So what you're saying is you never actually yeah. left any valuable jewelry in it. <laughs> so she hasn't been there. So she hasn't been there. Been that I, I drunk. You're just shooting him some bits. I've been that drunk. 
But now, because I'm a rapper, I got to stand. Y'all can't have secret conversations. Um, my bad. So nah, what is the I, question? Nah, was, what are you saying? I don't yeah. know, dude. So I was like, yo, I don't know you, but do I got you, oh, the good. leeway to, you know what I mean? You good. To what? Shoot jabs. You good. I'm up Reason here. is a really good guy. And, and, he is. And, yeah. North, and North Brain. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got robbed. I know that because I'm a rapper, it's, that's what that it's is. There's only two things. Yeah, but that didn't happen, though. Either she caught you yeah. slipping. Or they, or they did. Or he caught you I didn't get, <laughs> I, didn't get, I, didn't get, I didn't get caught slipping, I promise you. So you I took off you your valuable you. <laughs> Reason chain with the diamonds in an Uber. Was it Uber regular? Uh, yeah, Uber, it was Uber, regular. Uber Black? Oh, it was Uber regular. Yeah. Uber regular. Yeah. I know, man. So you like, took it off, <laughs> then you got out. Then you realized it was gone, and what happened? I realized I realized it was gone in the morning because I was drunk, mm -hmm. and I didn't. Oh, so I he was in Cincinnati. It was gone. gone. It was it was gone. <laughs> it was gone. Was yeah. you in the Uber by yourself? Yes. Well, no, with the homies. But I know what you was asking, so that was what I was getting at. Okay. It was yes. with Maria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> I was alone in that instant. What city you yes, was in, yo? I was in Houston. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, okay. Steve Francis said okay. the Uber got him. <laughs> All right. We got it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the Uber got Steve yes. Francis. You know what <laughs> nah. Nah, I get it now. I feel you on that. Yo. It was a long night. I totally <laughs> see it from... Yeah. I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, I'm the only one that's out of here. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Well, then you had insurance yeah. on it, right? I did. I did. So I'm working through that process. Yeah, yeah them niggas. Is this is recently. They, they, they assholes. This literally just happened three days ago. I was hot. Like, that's mm. what I'm saying. I'm Wait, still three days ago? Like, three days? What, what day is it? Saturday, Saturday. Like, Saturday. This just happened. I was in Houston. Oh, so you just became chainless. Yes. That's why right I got the, this, that's right why I got the jacket pulled. That's why, <laughs> that's, why, <laughs> that's why it's 100 degrees and you got this fucking jacket on just, buttoned up shout, like this. Shout out to home fam that gave me the jacket. It's a uh, black owned brand I fuck with. So they got to put a logo somewhere. To <laughs> can't, can't put his logo Try. somewhere. <laughs> All right, so that was just that's the why, other that's night. That's why I heard. I'm like, damn, I, like right before I come out to New York, like I, I lose the chain. Like that shit mm -hmm. really is still, I'm still like recovering. I mean, the you chain look like is- like an underground the, rapper. Again. The chain is an important part yeah, of the it's story. Back, it's back to the- I'm more yeah. concerned with getting blackout drunk. And if, is that a habitual thing for you? It is, unfortunately, one of my vices. Look, see? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I drink way too much in environments that I shouldn't Wait, drink. I'm joking, oh, man. Shit. Chill. Don't you make it for real. Oh, fuck. Yeah. God damn it, I did it. I like drink way too much. Directionist is going. But why are you drinking so much? It's just something that I enjoy doing. It's not like, I think the issue with me with drinking is that I this never- nigga got darker since last time I seen him. It's been hot. I was in Houston. It's hot. And they got the Charlemagne filter. <laughs> Yo. Oh, oh shit. shit. Why does niggas look like Charlemagne now? <laughs> oh, shit. Reese. Yo. Yo. Whoever got my nigga. Yo. <laughs> yo. Come back. Enough, yo. Bring, back. <laughs> Bring, that, Bring that shit back. Bring that shit back. Bring that shit back. Stop playing. Yo, call J. Prince. Yeah, we got to call got somebody, call yo. Come on. That was just the other night. Oh, God, he do. Secret location. Yeah. We'll pay. <laughs> Something. Uh, Don't tell nobody. Something. We'll pay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, man. Did it's you contact Uber? Life. I did, I did. So this is the thing, I don't feel like he got it because he's an old Arabian dude and he actually went through the process of trying to help me. Like he was on the phone with me with Uber and all of that and shit like that. And I think it was whoever got in after that just mm -hmm. probably saw it and they just came up. Mm -hmm. They just came up. The good thing is that it's a big ass read so they can't just wear it out. Like that, so that's oh, the that's thing. the positive. Yeah, that's a positive. The small positive. And can system. melt that thing right. <laughs> <around. laughs> like, they don't want to wear that shit that that away. Yeah, it's gonna say something else. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, no, you gotta look at me. I, mean, I want to wear. I didn't see it like that before, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. So yeah. now, now, how do you feel about the phrase "they should have never gave you niggas money"? <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> you looking at the same <laughs> crazy ten minute segment about. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to the album at some point. But. It, it hurt. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I, I was legitimately like sick, like to my stomach. Like I feel like I just threw, mm -hmm. literally, just threw bread away. Like not in the metaphorical sense, but literally. what if the nigga that got in the Uber after you was like logic? <laughs> And he's like, ooh. Logic and reason. <laughs> you know that whole thing became a thing, right? Like what? The, the whole logic shit. What? Like me logic dancing like, on stage like Ice Spice touching nah, his pussy? He's just, he just a bitch ass nigga. Like he do. Tell me about oh, it. Oh, oh, <laughs> Tell me about it. He's bitch ass nigga shit and I just don't like it. Like, Mint ass. Well, I be saying. 
It's back. Oh, you in heaven now. <laughs> you, got some, you got somebody to shoot with you? Oh, Dude, man. Like, nah, I don't, don't want to shoot at Logic. I don't respect bitch nigga shit like in, in rap. Like, and that shit is just weird. They got like a thing. Wait, yeah. what happened? I'm just yeah. talking shit, but they got a thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, Park, you knew they had a thing, you phony know ass. I thing. <laughs> You didn't know that thing? Uh, no, I would like to know more about the thing now, but I'm not going to press it. I'm chilling. Well, we're here. I'm going to press it. He said he didn't say anything. What, what he did? What he did, man? <laughs> <laughs> what did your best he had? What he did? Yo, nigga, I want to know thing, too, nigga. It was kind of like, it was kind of like, I, I, niggas say I took a shot. I don't count it as a shot because I don't count what niggas do nowadays as shots. Like the little subliminals that you got to research to see what nigga talking about. I don't count that as shots. And uh -huh. so I said something about him and instead of him just addressing it like on some man or rap shit which he could have I would have been completely fine with that he kept like doing this thing where he beat around the bush like oh I don't know who Reason is but then you go to an interview mm. and you make a Reason joke and then you come over here and be like I don't know who Reason is and then you go over here and make mm. and it's like nigga just like like if you got an issue with it just either stand on that or like move off of it you get what I'm saying like mm. and so it became like a thing like that and he went on a couple platforms and did that and it's just like did you see him grab his pussy I did not see that. I have no idea what that is. No, he, he grabbed literally grabbed. Well, oh, you know what a pussy is. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Man. I don't really like <laughs> hey, I'm not playing with y'all today. <laughs> I only angry. know that because of you. Huh? Yeah, you just, exactly. you know showed us that. You. I'm like, what, is, what does that mean? Like, no, 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 man. No, pussy, exactly what you think uh, of when you hear someone grab their pussy. You know the he ice spice move. He, 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 he turned around on stage. He licked he his fingers. He, 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 he touched well, his pussy that. from behind. <laughs> Hey, yo, listen, listen, listen. Bussy he did. Dead, that bro. nigga's a Bussy, freak. This is, they think it's just a freak shit. Bussy. Nah, that nigga's a freak. It's, it's, Bussy is boy it's pussy. boy pussy. Pause. That's, yo, that's weird, bro. I hate that. Pause. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a crazy word. So now, <laughs> he didn't do that though. There's no way he did that. No, he did that. Show him the video. Uh, no, no, don't. No, I'm not going to show him the video. I'm going to just take y'all word. I'm not going to show him the video. And if he didn't think to market his whole album off of Kicking Logic's back, and I don't want to give him the idea now. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> so, but you do have an album coming. I got an album coming, yes. Tell us the name. <laughs> the album name is Porches. It's like Stoop, New York, but Porches, L.A. Yeah. Wait, what is it called? Porches. 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 Jersey, yeah, porches. we have Porches. So we, we have Porches. Yeah. Yeah. We have Porches. Yeah. 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 I thought, I thought, it's not, that's New York it's not symbolism for I, us. I thought it was all, yeah, I thought literally <laughs> nah, nah, everybody nah. in the East Coast has Stoops. Like nah, everybody. Nah, nah. We yeah, have Porches. Nah, we got Porches. Nah, porches. We, got, okay, we got shit that they ain't never heard of in your backyards, grass. Parking spots, washer dryer in the crib. Yeah, but it's called Porches, July 28th. Okay, Ooh, what, that's a big what, day. Huh? It is a big day. And it's big day. really <laughs> looking jump. <laughs> that's the it button. <laughs> Let's not press it yet. <laughs> we we working our way to that very statement. Yeah, yeah. Big day. But yeah. uh <laughs> <laughs> what is the meaning behind that title? Um it's uh like a collection of stories. Um and it was it was made in the mindset of like, no matter where you grow up at, if you grow up in similar environments, class, different things like that, we all connect in a way because we all go through similar things. So when you listen to the album, it's painted as if it's like a, my bad, it's painted as if, pause, that was crazy. It's painted as <laughs> if it's like a story that goes, it's painted as if it's like a story that goes all the way through about one person, but it's really a collection of different stories just to show that we're all, you know, in this together. But it's meant to like push, like let's love each other more instead of, throwing darts at each other. When you see a nigga do something that you don't understand, instead of throwing darts at him, like understand that other niggas is going through similar shit. So, yeah. oh, okay, that's dope. Yeah. That's, the opposite, that's the opposite of what you did to Logic. We're not trying to He's not a nigga. So we're not the opposite of what you did. We ain't trying to sell no record. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you still out here trying to be artsy? I, st I got joints on there just because that's the meaning of the album. I mean, I ain't got joints. I got joints. I got singles. I got shit that, you know what I mean, sound good in the club for the women, playlists, all that. I still got that. Nice. A, na a title name don't mean that my whole album sound like that. It don't. It don't sound like that. Okay. I hate when this nigga do this thing where he just stare at me and want me to I'm so glad <laughs> somebody like, bro, like, Walk up the pot with Joe, bro. Yeah. Word. Word. Just stare at you. Nah, I'm engaged in the conversation. Uh -huh. Okay, how many joints do we have and are there any features we should know oh about? Oh my God. We're 17 joints. I want to get these questions yeah, out of the yeah. way. I'm with you. 17 joints. Dochi's on there. Baby Tate, Sir. Rayvon, Sakari. Um... I'm gonna shout this out because I'm proud of it. I got like four uh, up and coming artists. I'm like, 
I'm very passionate about putting up and coming artists in position. So I got a chick named Juni. She won like a flick it up contest for me like a few years ago. So I put on the album. That's what's dude up. named Dirty Dell. Um, dude named Flazig. That's from uh, South Africa, I think. Mm. And then um, I feel like I'm missing somebody, but that's probably it. That's dope. Yeah, that's probably yeah, it. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. We want to learn these people's names <clears throat> closer to the album date. Yeah, no, for sure. And where they're from. That's important. Yeah. All right. How many of the up and coming artists would be on the album if the budget was bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> they would all be, every album moving forward, I'm going to have up and coming artists on my show. There you go. Clap it. <laughs> 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 he said That's the right thing. He said the right thing. Yeah. Yo, no, you can't trip him up. That's why I'm going to purposely sit <laughs> no, no. here for 90 minutes and try to trip him up. Because <laughs> like he's said. media trained, <laughs> savvy, smart, witty, all that. He's like a young, if there was like a young version of me out there, he's going to fuck himself with that bullshit. <laughs> well, I'm telling you. I like that he said it because then we go back and we can revisit that ass, down the line. It's going to like, always be up and coming artists on my show. You won't deter me with that. <laughs> Tell me about what has taken so long in between projects. Um, it's been like one thing with the label, it's always been uh, like second guessing. I think that in my opinion, that's our biggest like Achilles heel. It's like you live with music and then you second guess it. And then you live with music and you second guess it. And I think that that process of second guessing and coming back to records that we already knew were incredible, it's always like slowed the process. With the up. label, you said second guess and shit too? Yeah, like, so it's like, Ooh. even like, there's like five joints on the album that like, those five were an EP at one point, mm -hmm. and then they thought that it wasn't good, and now they're on the album. That's you know tricky what I'm though, because like, as artists, we second guess ourselves all the time. Yeah, yeah. So to have the people that are supposed to be helping you not second guess yourself, that's gonna be tricky. 100%. So yeah, it's been like a, a back and forth process with that. It's like, it's not the easiest thing for show because I, I've wanted to drop like, five times since then but it's like turning the project live with it think that we're gonna do this end up doing something else so. your first album came out what year uh 2018 okay. 2018 and then i dropped yeah, new so. beginnings in 2020 like right like right when COVID was like at its height so i couldn't like do the whole touring thing and really move around and shit like that but yeah that's the third joint Technically the second though, because the first one was like something that i made before the label and they just redropped it so technically the second with the with the camp yeah, because you had the unfortunate plight of trying to work through the COVID. Exactly. Like, my debut, it was literally, like, right in the heart of COVID. So I didn't get to do none of the <clears throat> none of the rapper shit. I didn't get to move around and tour. I didn't get to, you know, be outside nonstop. I didn't get to do none of that. But, but I'm still getting really change. well, though. Yeah, I did. I did get to get you a change. Kept shit. <laughs> oh, you got it. You, you, got, COVID. you I, got it. I got it. That was like my gift to me for dropping the album was I bought the chain. Damn, yeah, I know. Man, the and then gift. my gift to drop the next one. <laughs> my gift to dropping the next one is for a damn curse. I, fuck that. I didn't even think about that. That's crazy. That's really shit. crazy. Oh man, that's yeah. insane. Y'all are nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's not cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what's, your, what's your gift for this album? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you? Why do you keep? Hope getting, it's something bigger than a chain. Why, you can't leave it over. To, to, to Mel's point yeah. now, because July 29th is a big weekend. Yeah. Why do you keep getting these shit dates? I don't know, man. I, and I why do you keep allowing it to happen? I, I wanted to drop this Friday. That was my what's this Friday? 14. 14. Yeah. yeah, 14. I wanted to drop this Friday, and we was just behind on shit that we had to turn in, and so it ended up getting pushed back two weeks. And I'm not gonna lie, for me, it was like. It was like, this is the 28th work, and I was just at a point where I was like, I'm ready to get it out. Like, I don't want to wait until September, and then it'd be something else. So I was just like, yo, I'm ready to get it out. So, And plus, I told you, like, I dropped on the Carter 5 the first time. Like, to me, that's bigger than this. I know to you it's not, but to me, that's bigger than Niggas waited on the Carter 5 forever. So it's like, it is what it is. It's not, it's not bigger than it's it's not really bigger than yoke. That's how I feel. Number one, there are some other albums that could drop that could be bigger than Carter Five. Yeah. Right? So that's one. Oh, how do I work around this bullshit <laughs> you're telling me? Why are you work you, I'm I'm telling like you you could just say what you want to say. It's cool. We good money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you trying to trick me. You trying to trick me. Nah, why wouldn't it be more pushback? I want to stay on the date thing. Why wouldn't it be For more? My more? But for the last album, yeah. How do y'all how do y'all view the performance of the last project? The last album did well. It's over 
100k sales like 130,000 units mm. sold like for me for me that's not great. being with a major that's, that's great, great. That's last great. album did really really well um to me the real to me like the reason why I look at it like this cuz to me the real issue is not the date like the real issue is is going to be like that I haven't been here for 3 years the real issue is that I don't have the A plus feature like the date is just a date like that shit don't really like if I had if I had another album or two more projects in between this and I had the A-list features on this one, then we wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, we wouldn't even be talking about an album date. You know what I'm saying? So like I the would. Album, yeah. I would because you wouldn't take your A-plus features and then drop them on the same day as Megastar, whoever, you, you, because you invest it. Yeah. You don't, you don't want to, you're not going to want to shoot your load like that. But that you but would wait. But that is my point. Because is there's that a lot if, invested. If that happened, if I had two projects in between this then and the A-list features, would we even be talking about me dropping on this date? That oh, is, if you had two me. projects in between. In between then and the No, A-list nobody feature. would care. So, no, I'm saying we wouldn't even be, I'm saying as far as like whoever picked the date, nobody would, like nobody, just like you said, a label wouldn't want to shoot their load like that. They wouldn't have picked that date. You get what I'm saying? Like, if we had all of that, they would. You get what I'm saying? Like, we wouldn't have picked that date. So for me, it's like the date ain't the problem. Like, it's a bunch of other shit that matter way more to me than a date. Damn, that nigga so. won't even say Travis Scott name, right? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga worked that answer to a T. <laughs> he did. <laughs> That nigga didn't. Travis even is bl- dropping. Errol he didn't even fighting. blink a Travis yeah. Scott. He didn't say nothing with T, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Scott is dropping Travis with the Scott bundle packages back mm-hmm. after his hiatus. The- <laughs> they an- they anticipate with the that Egypt, with the Egypt uh, mm-hmm. oh, uh, shit. release yeah, party. Yeah, you know about the Egypt shit, huh? With the yeah. Egypt release party, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then yeah, we got Errol you- Spence dropping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. fighting. Errol Spence fighting. Stop Stop Crawford. If there was a weekend that. I would guess people are not thinking about music at all. It would be that weekend. I would fight tooth and nail to get that shit the fuck off of that weekend. Especially when I haven't dropped in however many years. I Mm -hmm. what is the what is the urgency? What's Mm -hmm. no? There's urgency for him, Mm -hmm. but what's wrong with another two to three weeks? Like when you express that to your team or whoever, like what is the resistance? For for me, it wasn't even like a resistance. It was more like I expressed it. And like, like the the transparency part of it is like I got I got tired of expressing shit and like nothing happening. So it's like I expressed it. I said I didn't want to be on that weekend. Nigga shows that weekend and bet. Let's rock. Like let's do it that weekend. Like I've, mm. I've given a lot of push in certain situations. You know what I mean? And it's like it's always met with a certain level of resistance or you know I'm I'm overthinking it or you know reason is you know, overthinking it or, or complaining about the so it's just like, all right, bet if y'all think we should do it that weekend, let's do it that weekend. At what point do you begin to take a different approach in the think tank? I mean, I, I feel like this is the different approach. I feel like I've been taking the different approach, which is the pushback and the, and the nah, I think we should do this. I think we should do that. I want to stand on this. And it, it hasn't, it hasn't benefited me in those ways. So this is the, the, the new approach, in my opinion, which is, like, yo, I do my job, I deliver good music, let them do their job. To me, Part of, part is, of your yeah. job, let me get off them for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Part of your job, I would assume, is Lucy's. Yeah, yeah. What she's been doing. Yeah, he's got a couple of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I should have more, though, still, for sure. Yeah, you always looking to bail, bail at me now. <laughs> got a couple of those. I like, yeah, got, like the singles. He ain't got play a couple of them. <laughs> How many Lucy's you got? Um, well, I, I can't call the last two Lucy's because they on the album, so those are singles. But other than that... I've had like four or five, like in the last year and a half, but that's still not, in my opinion, enough. It's if you're not dropping an album, that's not enough. That's yeah. not if you're not dropping an album, that's not enough. At the end of the day, like where we at now, you just got to you just got to do more. It just is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm asking why? Why not? Why? Why is the frequency the frequency? Yeah. I you're you're a great rapper, and I assume that you make music at a high clip. Yeah. So if that's not happening. <clears throat> What are the real reasons? What are the meat and potatoes as to why that is not happening? It's just been pushback. Like, I turn in singles, and like I said, they live with them, and it's a second guess. I don't think we should do this unless we roll into that's something. That's the business. That's the label. Yeah. That's the, I'm talking about you and Lucy's, your, the direct relationship between you and your family. I can't just drop a Lucy. Like, contract-wise, I can't just put out a, a record just to put it out without typing them, signing off on it. I can't do that. It's not, like, it's not you literally not possible. You can't do a freestyle? I could do. I've done. Free, I've done it. I got a bunch of freestyles on my. Like I've dropped a bunch of freestyles on Instagram and shit. Like I've done a bunch of those. Well, that's what I mean. I oh mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I done mean, that. No. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, I've done a bunch of those. Yeah, but it's like at some point, it's like 
you gotta you gotta give your fans like the actual product. You get what I'm saying? Like, or you mm-hmm. become the freestyle nigga. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. like I'm not. I'm bringing I'm bringing up him up because it's a good friend of mine, and he's not the freestyle nigga. But me and Simba had that conversation. He was like. I don't want to be the freestyle nigga, so mm-hmm. I'm not doing no more freestyles. You know what I'm saying? You like love until up here. Yeah, yeah, he was like until I until I get to a point to where my album is is ready, I'm not doing no more freestyles because I don't want to become the freestyle nigga. And that's what happens if you if you only drop freestyles for a year and a half, two years straight. It's like that's just what you become. I can see the fear of being put in a box. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that kind of happened to y'all, Slaughterhouse. Y'all became at, at a certain point the freestyle niggas. Like that's didn't, niggas didn't want to buy y'all music. It was like, yo, we, no, we want to hear the mixtape and we want y'all to freestyle. Well, you saying that, to, y'all know that I was kicking and screaming about <laughs> a lot of that shit yeah. over there. Yeah. They had a rule, right? Like you can only do the BET Cypher like once. And they had called us, this was like the fourth, fifth time. Like, yo, nigga, ain't y'all breaking, <laughs> <laughs> ain't y'all breaking the rule? <laughs> Stop calling us for this shit. No. Y'all the, uh, the, the smoke grenade for the BET Cypher, whenever they don't, they don't got the niggas, they... Yeah. 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 And they try to yeah. spice yeah. it up that last year. Yeah. Uh, be TDE in Slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> they, try to slice, they try to spice it up that year. TDE versus Slaughterhouse in the Cypher. <laughs> nigga, leave me alone. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Okay, so... What's it like over there now that uh, Kendrick's gone? He was gone when I got there. Oh, for real? Like, in, in presence, like, that was, like, another thing that, like, was, like, a miss, like, like, a misinterpretation of, like, my my career as far as talking about me. Like, when I got there, Dave Free and Doc was, like, was already out the door? They were basically out the door. You get what I'm oh, saying? Sure. Like, I had, like, one session with Doc and, like, one meeting with Dave Free, and that was kind of mm. it. You get what I'm saying? So it was kind of already in motion by the time I got there. So I don't know what it was like before. They, gotcha, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, tell me about some of the depression you faced since the last project. Damn, this is getting, like, dark. <laughs> like, fuck. I tried to ask it in a nice way, but you keep label no, politicking I'm not, me I'm down. Not, I'm not talking about that. I said, what the fuck's been up for the last three years? I know it's been dark fucking times, yeah, and you was black yeah. out the other day. You lost yeah. your chain. I know, I know. So, that yeah, I want to know about it, because I care about yeah. you. Nah, I just... Uh, the depression came from that, like came from, like I hate to keep making it about the music, but that's what it came from. It's like I wanted to drop music, I wanted to do more. Like I said, my last album did really fucking well. I wanted to build on that. Yeah, I wanted to build on that. Even during COVID, like I wanted to like when they was when Dave Chappelle was doing the little fifty seater joints and they was yeah. kind of moving. I wanted to do that. Like I, I, you know, wrote up like a city tour. Like yo, I want to do these twelve cities, mm. fifty seats, whatever the case may be. I wanted to be outside and do more. And it was just always met with resistance. And so that ends up putting you in a dark place. And now you second guessing, you know, are you even dope? You know, should you be doing this shit? For me, I'm not like these other niggas. I had a regular job before this. Like, should I have quit my regular job? Like, mm. should I, you know what I mean? You start second guessing all those things and it can, it can put you in a dark space. And for me, it was just alcohol, women, music. That was it. It's like a common theme over there. Like, at that label? Yeah, people wanting to drop, feeling we're ready to drop, and then being met with resistance. Uh-huh. That's what I'm hearing. It, it's, it's, I can, damn near everybody over there, I'm ready. I'm, I, want, I want to drop. And then you'll hear, well, no, you're not ready. Or this isn't ready. Or we have a plan, and it's, it's this. Which is, I guess it's kind of hard to. I'm about to sound phony. It's and, super and, successful, and, so it's like hard to. In none of those that. cases, can I, in hindsight, side with the artist? Why though? Because it, all, it, it always always yeah. it, But that's always that don't mean that it wouldn't have been fire if they they dropped in. That's your point. That was literally my point. Like, like I don't think that, saying, I don't think that the success all, came from each, waiting. Each of the artists, unless I'm missing something, admittedly state that what they thought they had is not the same product as what was released. Is why I'm saying one thousand percent. But I also think it's it's key to note that like. That was in a different time. That was before social media was what it was now. That was before the streaming era um, was what it was now. Like, it was a different time. I think back then, I do think that that works because back then, like, you build up anticipation for an album. It's not as many artists as it is now. And now it's, 
Lil What the Fuck every single week. So it's like, it's not as many artists <laughs> as it is now. So that ass. So it's like, it works by just waiting. You get what I'm saying? Like, you wait. You I know you hate all the Lil What the Fuck shit. niggas. I know you I, hate I, I've told you this before, and you think I'd be capping. I don't hate them niggas, bro. I you like a lot of them you niggas. You can't do that. You yeah. can't, you can't, because you can't come out and publicly say, yo, I hate all these niggas. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's just not You'll smart. You'll be wanting me to hate I, I know you hate I these listen niggas. to these niggas. Like, I listen to niggas' music. <laughs> Nigga, if you like, hate Logic, you hate some of these other niggas too. No, like, he's, he's, Trying to be in 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 our land. I don't like. Man, I'm not gonna talk about that. It's nigga, true. But I take it back. Yeah, I'm but sorry. like I I listen to them niggas, bro. Like I I genuinely feel like them niggas is dope, and they drop. The niggas like that make the music like me don't drop. So I gotta listen to them niggas, true. and them niggas. Some of them niggas is hard. Uh, what participation or what percentage of say so do you think the label should have in terms of? And not just your situation, any yeah, situation, yeah. In, in terms general. of final product and release date. Do you think it's, the artist should be able to say, yeah. hey, my album is done, this is it, and let's go with this? I think it depends on the situation. Like, um, I don't think that the artist should be able to have all the, the say-so and control yeah. over that. I think that that would be a fucking like, catastrophe. That would but be the end of the music awful. business. Yeah, it, it would be awful. But I do think that the artist should have... I think it should be a collaboration. I think the artist should have, I do think the artist should have all say so over the creative, meaning like not necessarily picking the records, but the creative as far as like whatever their brand that they want to display, I think the artist should have 100% control of that because I think that should be worked out on the front end before niggas even sign. So I think you should understand what, what an artist is trying to do and display before a contract is even signed so they should have 100% control over that. But for the other part, I just think it should be more of a collaboration and, and an if, understanding. If I'm the both. label and you come to me... Never. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Never. Yeah. yeah. Nah, it's not going to be that. Never. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You wouldn't do that if you was running a business either, though. That's what I'm saying. I'm, if we're in pandemic know, mode and my artist is coming to me saying, yo, I want to set up a 12 city tour backyard style mm -hmm. a, a similar to Chappelle. This is the dates I want to do it. And I'm the person that's got to set it up and pay for it. I'm gonna tell you the fuck out of my face. Are but what you do you? But, but why though? Because you're not paying for the tour. Like you're not like. Yes, yes you, you are. are. No, you're spending money. But I'm saying like you set it up and like whatever you do, you just set it up in a way to make a profit. So mm -hmm. it's like whatever we're gonna Reason. spend, you can do that. Like that. Like if we're gonna talk technicality, which I don't want to get too deep, but it's like you can rent a van, load up the van, go to these ten cities pick these venues and make enough money off of tickets and merch to cover everything that you did and make a profit. That is a fact. Oh, you okay. Can do that. You could do that, but could you do that and me put my, uh, um, what was the name of the fucking, oh, that was Empire, the show, the record label show. Yeah. Could you do that and me put my Empire stamp on this comfortably? Would you, you just putting 10 niggas in a van thinking y'all gonna run that operation? So that, now I'm not putting my stamp as a product, this is blue magic. Yeah, not just that. I'm presenting this as my blue magic. My resources, my insurance, my <laughs> this, my it's that. It's my job to Somebody make get you shot look good. Yeah. Them backyards, all of that shit. Man. And it's my job to make I'm you look as big as I like, can make you look. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not, just not saying, hopping out no saying, fucking yeah. suburban with yeah. ten niggas city to city for my premier artist who I believe in. Okay, so how do you? Like, let me ask you this: You think that if during COVID, when we're not allowed to have concerts, if you send Hell, if you send, send uh, let me pick some Joey Badass on a tour such as that, you think that makes him look smaller? If it's during COVID and we already know he can probably sell this, but it's just COVID? The answer so is yes. You think that makes him look smaller? I don't have to think because this happened. There were laws restricting people from performing city to city. And the people that still went out there and performed, the rest of us said, oh, oh. Yeah, if you're willing, if you're willing to take that risk, and it's, it's law saying you can't do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, you then you need you, to do yes, it. You, you look like yeah, yeah you need to do it. That that does and come it's coming off as desperate. And okay. if you got our stamp on you, we can't have you coming off as desperate because that falls back on us. And if no mm -hmm. other artist is out there doing it, like Chappelle's the anomaly. Should none of us be comparing? That was his backyard mm -hmm. with his neighbors and friends. <laughs> One thousand percent. Niggas done signed release. It was all Everything. types of shit going on. That was Netflix that had to find the skeleton crew to go back there. Yeah. Skeleton crew and rap. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And, and you said something about like your project. You think that the artist should have all mm -hmm. of the the artistic direction of the project. The artistic direction of the artist, not the project. I mean, that's what I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the brand of the of, of the actual artist. Yeah. So let's just say hype we're we gonna go far left. Mm -hmm. Let's say you wanna do 
ukulele music. Yep. But we know you could be successful doing some other shit. Mm -hmm. We are investing our capital and our resources into you. No, you're going to make us our money back first, and then we're going to let you throw out some ukulele bullshit. But that, <laughs> and that happens with everybody. Like Christina Aguilera talked mm -hmm. about, she hated doing what a girl wants, what a girl needs, all mm -hmm. of that shit. Once she got them their money, doing all the bubblegum pop shit, they gave her some creative control to go do some other shit. But that's why I said before you even sign. Like, I don't think that you should, if, if an artist wants to do ukulele music, and don't you think them. that they can, yeah, just don't sign them. Like, I think you should figure that out on the front end. Like, what does it look like? And if it doesn't match up to what you want it to look like, then you it just don't sign It them. happens a lot. I mean, yeah. like, you know, just in, just in respect to, like, pop singers, like, Pink, she started off R&B, hardcore, and yeah. then she made a massive left turn. Alanis Morissette was another artist that introduced yeah. herself like R&B, and then she, massive age, left turn. You we know, age ourselves with every name. Like, like, <laughs> all the three of us. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if, 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 for me, <laughs> like, y'all yeah, running. Yeah, now we old. Post Malone. Yeah. Post, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For me, respectfully, I just, like, I, I think that we having a conversation about, like, a broken system, and we're, like, giving in excuses for being broken. When it's like we could just fix it, and I know that that's in an ideal deal world, and it's yeah. not going to happen. So this is just a conversation. But like, I don't think I don't think that like an artist looks desperate doing a COVID run if you market it the right way. If you say, "Hey, this is our artist's first album, and the fans have been demanding." a tour and you show all the tweets and shit like that. You can change the you can perception change the, of des desperation yeah, to like, exclu like exclusivity. We, and to me, it's like, that is, <laughs> that is overthinking it. So it's like, you change it to exclusive. Uh, I'm fucking up on the word. But, yeah, but you charge more per, per ticket, maybe 150 per ticket, whatever it is, you just change the narrative of it and you, the, it's, it's, it's a way that you can be able to sell that, in my opinion. So you booked the 12 city tour. We can get off this too. Yep. But you booked a 12 city tour. It's my money that's coming out of pocket. Mm -hmm. During the biggest pandemic we've ever seen in our generation. And now we booked all these dates. We spent all this bread. And 12 people come out because they're scared for their life. What do you say to that? Well, like, not, all, not even that. If you're the label, we just spent all our bread, mm -hmm. all our resources. We booked these places, got deposits, whatever. The, I don't know how it works, but that's how it works. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Now, now we won't get no return. You, and, oh, you're gonna shelf your ass to the middle of and now you're and in the middle of this pandemic, this shit is changing every five seconds. No. Yeah. And now so your now confidence is shot to shit because yeah. you had three people show up and now you feel like a nobody. So you put out the tour, you get the tickets after you put out the tour. None of the fans can see tickets because this happens with artists all the time. Niggas put out tours and they don't sell like that how they want to and they make a left. Or niggas put out tour dates and they sell more and they make a right. So you put out the tour dates, you see what the tickets are looking like. If it's not looking like what you want it to look like, then you do the same shit that all these other niggas do and you make an excuse that has nothing to do with you. Oh, they came down and shut us down in the venue, said that we can't do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the yeah, artist has that. something crazy mm -hmm. going on in the family. He can't make it anymore. Oh, there's all these ways. That's what I'm saying. Like, we make excuses for a broken system. There's ways to do it. It's if, just that niggas don't want to do it. If I believe that that is what's going to be the result, then I'm not taking manpower off of anything else to come do that. For that to be the or result. Or if it's a possibility. <laughs> that it happen. But if you believe it's going to be the result, then you're going to say no from jump. True. Sure. That's my mm -hmm. whole thing. You're yeah. going to say no from Jay. If you believe that's going to be the result, like if, if you were my labor owner and I came to you and I said I want to do that, if you believed that that would happen, you would just say no. It's not true. It's not true. You're dealing with artists. Yeah. You're dealing with artists. You think that management and the label people just tell artists what they think is going to flop off rip like that? Or do they try to massage us a little bit? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying you're just going to be like, no, I'm not going to do it. But I think you're going to have the conversation you're having with me now. Like, hey, what if this happens? We don't know if we can cover this. We don't know if we can cover this. What if this happens? That's the conversation you're going to have, and it's going to lead to a no. That's what's going to happen. What do you think the current perception of reason is today? Um, That's weighted. Because I, I really, I'm, I'm being honest, I don't, I don't know. I think... Like, I, I've, I've never really thought about, like, what the public perception is of me, being honest with you. I think I'm dope. Reason, I, think I'm, I will move these fucking tables. You always will be square thinking like... <laughs> will, you as a rap... All right, what I will say is, yeah. as a rapper, don't we have to think about what public perception is of us? As an artist, period. I, I, I'm being... All, only thing I think about from the public perception of me is, do niggas think that I'm, like, one of the nice niggas in this newer generation of rappers. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I am, and I think niggas believe that. I just think that niggas feel like I don't drop enough music. That's literally what I think. I think niggas think Reason is nice as fuck, he just don't put out enough music. If that's a public perception, like, I don't know if that is a perception, but I do, think that's what niggas think. Do you think. feel like the overthinking and, and, and things that you go through personally prevent you from putting out 
more music. It's not me. I don't overthink. I I think that all these records is good enough to come out. That's what I was saying. It's it's, it's just a label like you said earlier. They, they overthink. They, they'll live with it and then they end up, you know, wanting to go a different direction, being like, nah, we should do something like this. So when you're signed, though, I, I really don't know. I mean, independent. Yeah. When you're signed, you're not able to just do shit and put it out. I can't speak for other artists. I'm not. I'm not able to make a song today and then go drop it tomorrow on iTunes. I can't speak for other artists. I don't know what every nigga's Got it. situation is. You get what I'm saying? Can't even drop it on SoundCloud on that shit. I could do it on sound, but even that, it's like it's still, I still have to, like, because you got to understand, like, this is TDE, so it's different than other labels. Like, you're dealing with, like, street niggas. So it's like, you can't, if I put out a record and just be like, fuck that, I'm going to do this, then, like, I rub a street nigga the wrong way. And you get what I'm saying? Like, not saying, like, Mm -hmm. they going to do something like that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's handled, and it's looked at and handled in a different manner. It's frowned upon. Yeah, exactly. It's frowned upon. Like, you're dealing with one solo entity versus at a big major, it's a bunch of niggas. You get what I'm saying? So it's just different. I understand. I get it. Yeah, it's just different. Frustration. It's like a direct, like, I don't fuck with you. Like, I'm not going to listen to you directly. Whereas, if you do it with a label, it's like, Oh, I'm not fucking with the label like that. Mm-hmm. Who, yeah, well, who the, is the label? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. I did that before the street niggas. It didn't end well. I've seen. You know that. what? I've seen that. Fuck what you talking about? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't. I didn't, get the, those I didn't get the fifth word out. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> That's what I like about Joe. He, he don't give a fuck. He admits shit. I remember those times. My, my life is my life. <laughs> How do you think I learned some of this stuff? Uh, I thought you were just being stubborn at that though, Sai. I know you were just doing shit like that. I thought you just didn't want to listen. Well, well it's hand in hand. Yeah. I was about to say, it's like, yeah. Chain yeah. of reaction. Yeah. Um, well, back to you. All right. Sorry. Perception. Okay, so if you feel like enough, if you feel like then enough people know that Reese is here and Reese is nice, then the job is done. Nah, cause like it's still your career. Like you gotta make money. He wants to create. Yeah, he wants to survive. survive. Like, okay, yeah. so then don't tell me all of that <laughs> bullshit that you just finished telling. <laughs> it's not one or the other though. It, like it's, it's it is Uchi Wally or one mic. It is nah, Uchi Wally or one mic. It's not. It's like what it is. It's like mm-hmm. what it is. It's it's about what you get in it for. So it's like there's some people that get into music to hit a lick. Mm-hmm. And we know who those artists are, and that's great for them because I don't. I think that everybody should be able to get into music for whatever the fuck they want to get into it for. And then there's other artists that we all get into it to make money. But there's other artists that like I'm not tripping if I'm not Drake. I just want to make enough money to you know survive, feed my family, and then be considered a legend. Like I feel like that's the boat that I'm in. It's like I don't need fifty million dollars. I don't need to be looked at as Drake. I don't need to be looked at as Cole. I just want to make enough money to Well then that begs the question to the people out there in the audience wondering, I'm just gonna ask it. Yeah. How does someone make money while not putting out projects? I mean luckily for me, speaking for myself, luckily for me, New Beginnings just kept streaming. That's how I like stayed afloat, for real. Like niggas my fans just really fuck with my album and they just kept Streaming it and kept mm. streaming it and kept streaming it. And that's how I stayed above water. That would rush me back to the studio. I was in the studio every day. <laughs> but he said, Yeah, but if I got it, he's saying, it out. He's he's saying yeah. I'm working, yeah. I'm dropping shit. They but the label is saying out. he's making mid. They're not saying I'm making mid. Let's, let's, saying, let's, 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 let's know. Let's, let's correct what it is. I don't I know because I don't like that narrative. I don't, I don't make. I don't no make artist mid. is going to say. <laughs> I don't. Like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm lying. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's not what it's sometimes is. you come to the label and be like, yep, no, 13 that's what I'm, right here for you, <laughs> ready to go. And then they hit and be like, let's just take some more time. That's what I'm saying. That's not what happened. What I'm saying, happen, what I'm saying happens at TDE. Oh, what I'm saying happens at TDE. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I, need, I need this to be understood. Because like, I'm really like, like for real, like on as, as humbly as I could put it, like as far as the new niggas, like I'm really I'm, I'm one, ba, 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 one of the best niggas. I am. No, that's ba, 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 but, but, it has to, but it has to come out in order for you to say that. The work has to be there. I you thousand percent agree can't with that. Say that no more. I can say that. No, you cannot. And that is our argument. Okay, go, wait, going back to what you just said though, before we get off of that. What I'm saying happens is that you turn in the project, they love the project, but as you listen to something for four months, you're going to naturally start to second guess it. So because you're listening to it for four or five months, you're going to naturally start to second guess it. And then after that, you say, maybe we need a record like this, or three, maybe we need a record like that. And three it, years divided by four months going. is how long? Three years divided by four months? 
four. Because you're right, that do happen every four or yeah, five months. Like but, that, yeah, that happens. So that's but not, when it's been not, three not years, yeah. Are y'all taking a long times, time? Sixteen times, something nine like that. Times. Yeah. Y'all taking a long time to get to the meeting to what should be here, what shouldn't be here. But so now we solid everybody in agreement with what we have. What we have, exactly. Do you think the best song that you've ever made is on this project? Yes, I do. Wow. Can you I tell do. us the name of it? Well, it's two of them that I think are the best. It's You Better and Gina. Those are like my two favorite songs that I've ever made. You Better. You Better. You Better's out already. And, and Gina. Then, and Gina. When I'm talking about a song, like what a song is, meaning like feel good, supposed to like give you a certain type of energy, that's that. It's not the best raps, but it's the best. I feel like it's the best I songs that I've made. Yes. All right. Who's Gina? Gina's just the name of this. It ain't about no specific chick. It's not. Is it about an amalgamation of different It's, it's really a, a song about like, like everybody wants to be a rapper. I just named it Gina because I said Gina oh. in the hook. Sometimes I'm not very creative with song titles, to be completely There's honest. no sure. woman tied to your alcoholism? There, what, to my alcoholism? Oh, <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. What the <laughs> fuck, man? Holy. You caught me on guard, too. I told Fuck you uh, the, the stalker situation, that was definitely tied uh, to my alcoholism. We're in a new space yeah. with new audience. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, yeah, I had a, I had a stalker situation um, with a woman that um, hacked into my phone, email, everything, um, broke into my crib, set up a camera. Oh, shit. Yeah, like a whole <laughs> situation. Were you dating yeah. her? No. At so some like, point? Nah, so, so basic, basically... I fucked her on a random night on some nigga Thank shit. You. Thank yeah, you. I fucked her on a random night on some nigga shit. The... Yeah, come on, my nigga. I fucked her on a Stop. random night on some... <laughs> and it turns I... out she's an Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> From Houston. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah, I, I hit her on a random night on some nigga shit, and then I, I fucked her like three more times after that. It would always be on some like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning type shit. Shit pull up, and then she'd end up leaving. Like, she wouldn't stay the night. It was never nothing intimate. That's fly. And then until it's and that's until it's, 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 it's <laughs> <laughs> got got in a relationship. I was shooting to show you how far back this goes. I was shooting uh, the video for Flick It Up, okay. and she was doing like a, a media thing. Like she was trying to get into this media thing, so she was like, "Yo, can I pull up to the video shoot?" Mm -hmm. So like, "Yo, my girl's here, just so you know." But if you come and you want some cool shit, cool. Mm -hmm. So she comes. We all drunk at the video shoot. <laughs> What's up? How old are you? Thirty two. And how was you doing Flick It Up? <laughs> when Flick It Up came out, nigga. <laughs> we were over there doing three, the three, three years ago. No, it's, man. Probably like, this video shoot was probably like four years ago. Mm. I was like 28. So you was like 28. 28. Your flicking girl was it, there. Flicking it up. You, you let your slide come through. Yeah, but but because okay. she defense, promised she would be respectful and, it was, and, and, <laughs> and, and not make she a scene. Hold it down. Some, she didn't make us into my defense. It was like fifteen hundred people there, so it wasn't yeah, like so it's. You know what I'm saying? Like no, but uh, let me let me get so I she get she pulled up, and then that night, like she didn't do nothing at the video shoot, but that night she sent me like thirty naked pictures, like trying to pull up again that night. You get what I'm saying? Thanks. So I woke up. I was having a bad day. I see the text. I go bad on her. In the text, mm. said some shit that in hindsight I probably shouldn't have said. I should have said slide. <laughs> and I ended it with like, you know, like you, you're a crazy bitch, blah blah blah. She was uh, like, I'm gonna show you what crazy is and block oh, me. Oh shit! Oh, oh, shit. You, you ever seen this movie with um, Gone Girl? No. <laughs> I was thinking about <laughs> Gone Girl. <laughs> no. Thin line between love and hate. Thin line between love and hate. Yeah. Mm. So like, literally, uh, but it was it was it was wild though. Like it was like. Like legitimately one time she sent like a screen recording to my girl of like like her going like she's in my phone like and she's like clicking on the email going How to the Uber, going to the Uber receipt she hacked I still don't know to this day she hacked it so she was spyware she was living shit. in my yeah she was living in my phone so like anything that was in my phone like and she was able she, to do this she had just access off to it. three times job. I, I have no idea I still to this day have no idea how she did this shit like she was in your house did you ever leave her alone did, with like in your laptop nah, was, was like kind of she would only there? be there for like thirty minutes she would pull Damn. up like. I would hit and then she would leave and I'd walk her out. Oh, man. You wouldn't be intoxicated. She came I, was I was drunk. I was drunk. But I'm like, come on, reason. Well, that's what's the reason. You got yeah. it. You got it. You see what happened with him. I, but it wasn't that though. It yes, wasn't it was. Like, it wasn't nigga, like you I was drunk, nigga. It wasn't, I'm a very good drunk. Like it wasn't like no, I was you, drunk. Nigga just lost your <laughs> chain, nigga. Yeah, yo. Hey, it's <laughs> over for that line too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Reed, big Reed, you my man. It's, not it's over for the I'm a very good drunk <laughs> line. Once, once you lose your chain I'm, in the I'm, Uber, I'm, you, know, you have an iPhone. You have an iPhone yeah. and like a Mac no, and all no, that no, shit. 
it. Call the court, yeah. yo. <laughs> Chances <laughs> are. Lawyers will tear your fuck. Yo, I'm a very good drunk. If she, got, if she was able to get into your phone, chances are she put spyware on your computer. I'm so I said, chances are she put spyware on your computer so she had all access to your email, to your iMessage. That's why she was able to control the phone. Why was she had access to literally everything, like legitimately any and everything. So like it was, it was crazy. Like, when it was did it boil over? Like, I she had. How did you find out everything? So she started like so. She she's I ain't gonna lie. Like she she slow roasted me. She was like she literally told me I'm gonna peel this back one layer at a time. And she just started like surgical summer. It was just not for real. It was like literally like it was like. Like a text here, a screen recording here, and me like sending an Uber at 10 a.m. I mean at 2 a.m. Um, uh, you know, a video here, and then it was like she sent my girl like videos of me like having sex with other women. Like it was just like oh, one shit. situation, like slowly. <laughs> your girl's how much, phone. How much, numbers, how much, how much cameras you put in your crib? My, well, no, it was from like my phone. Like I'm like it's what I recorded. Oh, okay. You get what I'm saying? She's in my phone, so she was just like like a text here, a text there, and then it got to a point to where. I'm not doing shit because I'm like, <laughs> like I did. Get a, I, try, get I, changed, a new I changed my I changed my phone, iCloud, everything, and it would keep her off for like two weeks, and then she'd send me a text from a random number and say I'm back. She would literally do that, oh. like I'm back, yeah. and then it would be again, and then uh, it literally ended up being a situation where like I stopped doing shit because I was just like clearly I can't, like I'm just I'm done. But then she started like sending old shit, but like screen recording it so it looks like it's like mm -hmm. recorded from that date. So then I'd have to show my girl the original video to show her like that that's the wrong date. <laughs> but now I'm showing her something crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like it just, it just, yeah. Is so, she still your girl? I, 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 got, I got a nigga. I got a very, wow. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, clap it up for that. Clap it up Check for out her. Her. Out the wifey. Yeah. The girl I, got locked up? You said what? I got a restraining order. The other girl didn't get locked up. I didn't have enough to be able to like put her in jail. I tried though. I, did. I got a very niggerish question that I'm going to ask. And I know a lot of the niggerish yeah. audience want to ask yeah. too. Yeah. How far was it? Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes niggas. They got a girl for nice. It, it, yeah. yeah, he kept his girl on the show. That shit was fire. <laughs> These two niggas the top it solid, it, was solid. It, was solid. It, was solid. it was solid. Yo, so you went to like the nearest precinct you could find? <laughs> you said the nearest what? Precinct. 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 He's calling you gutter. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> gonna drop heat right off of his situation. <laughs> gonna drop heat right in the thick of things. Yeah. Reason went through all that with the stalker. TD was still like, ap, ap, ap. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't putting none of that in the music. That's the, that's the guy you wanted them to send to people's backyard. That's Gina. Nigga. I put a little bit of it in the music. That's you Gina. said that's Gina? That's Gina. That's Gina. I got like a record that ended up not making the album that was about that whole situation too. Um, it was called Cats Interlude, but we ended up taking off the album because the album was too long. But I'm gonna try to put it on the deluxe. Wait, why y'all took it off the album? Just the album was too long. It was 17 records. Oh, that's why I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not because she, not, not she had anything damaging or incriminating that could well, step, that, that well, could step on this, step on this rollout. Gonna get into their they were like, you know what? We're not going to set her off. Leave yeah. her alone. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't want no smoke with her no more. Like I don't want no part of that. What that was your first, life. what did you write when you went to the precinct? The big <laughs> box? Yeah. What did you tell them to write? In the, in describe, the describe what happened. Yeah, describe describe what happened. <laughs> yeah, what did you put there? So I, so I'm not gonna. So you all laughing. That's funny. I'm sitting over yeah, here. Y'all know you traumatized too. So this is the crazy thing. I couldn't, Me too, though. I couldn't go. I'm and, sitting over this motherfucker like I want to hug the nigga. Like, I'm with you, dog. We, yo, no bullshit. I, I couldn't go to. She's this, a meanie. That's why I don't. That's why I don't fuck with police officers, bro. Because the police don't care about nothing until somebody actually gets hurt. So. Yeah. I couldn't go to the police until she broke into my crib. And I had to like also say that she took other shit in order for them to take the case. Oh, you seriously. ratted them. Yes. <laughs> One thousand percent. Well ratted. I was straight to the oh, shit, to the police. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the rat. Hey, clear, oh, clearly oh, ratting don't matter no more anyway. So Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, we out of here. More y'all admit that. Oh, oh man. More y'all need to Oh my god. Punch. Top. Somebody put a muzzle on this kid. I get you. I get you. I follow. Holy shit, yo. I do know it do. I'm just saying I'm saying like clearly like to the public. So when they took the case 
just, they only just gave you a restraining order. He had to order. rat to keep yeah. the girl. They, they didn't arrest, they didn't arrest her. So the restraining <laughs> order is just because she you know, broke into so, your house. I had, and, a, I had so. enough on file to, to actively get a restraining order, but I okay. didn't have enough to get her arrested. So, oh, so you've been like jour- journaling about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was oh, keeping, keeping a record. On May 19th. Somebody served her. I was keeping a record. They served her. They they pulled yeah. up to her job, well, actually. So she told them where she worked. Joe, I read it. Oh, my God. You are signed to screen. My wife was in shambles. I am with you. And I can't do nothing to her. Like you get to a point where you should really start fighting yourself. Bro, like my life. Explain the rat. (laughs) (laughs) What do you mean? Everybody, none of y'all go back to your hoods after. What do you mean? Tell us more. Nah, you really start being like, yo. <laughs> Snitch on the girl. Don't. They <laughs> <laughs> can start trying to kill your life, nigga. No, I get it. You yeah. felt threatened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I felt threatened. Yeah. My life was in shambles, bro. I'm depressed and going through all this shit. Like, now you understand the other niggas. I'm, I'm paranoid to the point to like I'm texting like I'm texting my parents about shit and it's oh. something personal, and so I delete the text message because I don't want her to be able to see it. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's like I'm. Clarice, I'm yo, oh, bro, like, shit. That's real, dog. Bro, you not nah, reach my heart. This, this is the thing, bro. Y'all gotta understand, like you. you you never felt this. You never felt Holy shit. Stop explaining yourself. Stop explaining yourself. Stop fucking now. No. No. Stop it. Now somebody was in your phone. Nigga, I'm getting. You want me? You want me to tell you what? I'm, I'm, t- I'm taking a different route from you. Oh. I'm taking a way different you're not, route. You're not right. No, I'm not. T- I'm taking Women a way. Women, Yana. Pow! That shit gonna feel like Royal Rumble at her crib, nigga. Oh my god! What happened? Did you know what happened? <laughs> T- Wait, so they were- <laughs> But you gotta do that. Yeah. But I'm gonna say because she could have made up anything. Shit. Shit. If you say she's the encrypt, she could have made up anything. Like, That's what I'm trying I don't to know. She could have done anything. anything. She, was, she literally was in how my close phone. Your, how, I know this, how close was your girl to leaving you? She left. Oh, oh God. Yeah, go and back. he just happened to be him. Got it. You know what I mean? You can't keep a real nigga there. Nah, okay. Yeah, nah, yeah, see, nah. So you, you, wanted, <laughs> you wanted to show that you were serious. Like, uh, uh, I don't want for you, I baby. Will... <laughs> he left the police report. Look, I'm signing these niggas and I stole. Oh, shit. I went against my mom. That's true love. That's true Yo. love. Oh, yeah. They said, I went, I went against these niggas and told. <laughs> <laughs> I went against <laughs> for you, girl. I went against my label. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh man! <laughs> That's when you turn around. You go. I got the whole world on my back. <laughs> and you gonna leave me now? <laughs> At my lowest point. That's when you gonna do this. <laughs> oh shit! That's, That's when you gonna do this. You gonna do this now? You're the only one know I've been fighting demons. <laughs> oh man! That nigga is foul. Oh. Man, was, I'm trying to help the nigga. Oh, oh, yo, that's funny as fuck. Salute. Well. Oh, Damn. Man. So you said she did leave you? She did. She did. How long? Yeah. Oh, um, well, you got it back. was like like a few months. Mm. Like a few months. And then we started slowly working back through things. But. Nobody asked any questions. <laughs> oh, I thought he was telling y'all to not ask any questions. He I was. Said, I wasn't uh, just sitting in the silence. <laughs> Stewing that shit. <laughs> Yeah, your cheek keep quivering. Your cheek keep doing. <laughs> and you play mental. You got niggas start sweating. You play mental. They keep saving them. Every time he talk about her, how long? Nah, nah, no, just chill. The nigga, <laughs> the nigga sweating. He <laughs> <It> got dark. <laughs> Yo. Oh, oh shit, shit. Pops. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Oh, oh shit. Man. That's why I fuck with you. That shit is traumatizing. Nah, that shit sounds crazy. Man. Nah, we with you. Shit. We with you. Yeah. Oh, he yes. had crazy shit happen to him too. Don't let this nigga fool I know Joe's had crazy. We've seen yeah. all the videos. We with yeah. you, man. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, shit. going through that. I'm definitely buying the album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to hear the joints. That they sprinkled in there. The truth is in there somewhere. <laughs> it is. It is. Holy shit. But yeah, shit. mix of that music shit. It's like, yeah, I was in a, I was in a dark space. Got in it. A dark space. So, yeah, I'd get drunk too. Man. Fuck that. Yeah. What? <laughs> This is why hip hop is great. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas say all that, and somebody's like, "I'm the same." Oh, okay. So, how are, how are, what are you doing differently to work this project or to make people aware of this project that might not be aware of you? Um, just taking a different approach as far as quantity, like um, shooting my own content, not waiting for other people to to put the situation together. Um, moving around more, like being in different cities I have relationships with, but pulling up on niggas like, 
actually being in, like I've known you forever. This is my first time seeing you in a long time. Like mm. shit like that shouldn't happen. You get what I'm saying? Uh, collabing with more artists that I've been had relationships with, but I didn't collab because I was like the, pro the record might not come out, but we could always just shoot some shit, put it on Instagram, put it on TikTok. I hate that word. <laughs> and um and just do it that way. So just really just being more outside. Like that's really like what my goal is, being more outside, being more present. Now we gotta get a new trainer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna be outside, we gotta God, now we looking like let me see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Degrees. And it's summertime. Come on, you gotta go in with it's it's 90 it's degrees. Now, come on, I'm buttoning that shit. Let me see how you got you. No, it's just a there. shirt. It ain't no trainer. Oh, oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a shirt. Oh, yeah. Damn. I just buttoned it because I like the jacket. I fuck with the jacket. Damn, like the man. Yeah, you got a watch? Yo. I got a bracelet. Bro. In Houston. Yeah. Yeah. You need a watch yeah. with a t-shirt. Send least. it back. <laughs> <laughs> Send it back home. Give me the P.O. box in the description. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what do you like in hip-hop right now? You like Killer Mike shit? I, lo I love Killer Mike shit. I ain't gonna front. That's him and Gunna, I feel like. Did Hit Boy drop this year, too? Yeah. yeah, which one? Yeah. Which one? Yeah, yeah he twice. I, I haven't heard the one with his pops, okay. but the first one that he dropped, that was this year, right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. I love that album. I haven't heard the one with his pops. So him, Gunna, Kill a Mike, those are probably the only three albums that's dropped this year that I like. Everything else, I don't really think it's that great. Got I think it, it's been it. a tough year. It has been a tough year. Mm -hmm. It's been it a rough year. B-Dot put out another list. <coughs> I yeah, love B-Dot. B-Dot's <laughs> list. He did the well, list. B-Dot's bored, man. I, listen, I love him. I like whatever him and Elliot is doing now, trying to stir shit up. For sure. But uh, his list was the top rappers from this year thus far, based off album relevancy and all this other oh, yeah, bullshit. Who was on his list that I, did, that I didn't name? Uh, Cole was on his list. Uh, Lotto, 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 Lotto was number two. I'll give you his list. Cole didn't this year. Think Cole's oh, he's saying one. like the actual rappers, not the yeah. not projects. Okay, no, guys, just rappers, just rappers, like what yeah. they're doing. Okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah. Let's see his list. Oh, it's right here. Bong da dong dong. His list is J. Cole. And I don't know if this is in, in order, but J. Cole is one. Lotto, Tyler the Creator, Currency, 21 Savage, Larry June, Benny the Butcher, Killer Mike, Jack Harlow, Cardi B. I like Jack Harlow's album. This is based on skill, like performance, and relevance for the first six months of 23. I'm confused by that just because so, like half of those dudes haven't really been relevant. Um, Tyler's been relevant. Has Cole been relevant? I feel um, like Cole did with feature. The, 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 Drake, like, the Drake feature. <clears throat> I feel yeah. like Cole and, is and, beyond and that. And on uh, Summers. Summer Walker. Uh, he did do yeah, Summers. Yeah, yeah. Summers. Yeah, the summer intro was crazy. Yeah, so okay, I get it. And, and he Cole played don't on the do much China to Europe team. He played on seven different Africa. teams. He's been doing a lot of shit. Talk about this year. First six months of the year. But that's not what the list is made off of. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's been a it's been a rough year for hip hop. For yeah. us, but I can proudly say that like we about to drop a lot of shit, and so like it'll be a good year for us for sure, for sure. Like I'm dropping, and we'll probably get three more projects out from the label this year too, at, at bare minimum. J Rock, yes. I can't because that's up to them to. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, we'll get three more from the label for that's sure right. after me. So, I'm yeah. excited. I can't. I can't wait to hear. It. Yeah, it better be heat. You took long enough. I think my album, I can't say that in front of you because you told me I can't say that, but yeah. I you can't say that no yeah. more about your class. Who else but is in your class? It's from, that, it's from so, that perspective, Who's though. in your like, class? Who do you have in your class? <clears throat> me, Boogie, Smino, Jed. Where's Boogie been at? Kaz. Boogie dropped the album last year, I think. I think it was last year. Yeah, yeah he did. He dropped the album last year. Uh, Kaz. And it was good. Um, it was. It was a very good album. Um, who else is in that class? There's some more niggas I'm missing, but that's off the top of my head. Those are the niggas. Gotcha. Yeah. But it's definitely more. I would say Benny. Jid's album was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was very late to Jid. <laughs> His album was crazy. Jid's album was crazy. I think this is Jid's best. This last album was Jid's best album, it in is. my opinion. Definitely. Yeah, that shit is definitely. hard. That's hard. But yeah, when you say that, though, you say that just from a, a, a quantity and relevance standpoint. I'm not speaking about that because I can't speak. You're right. You're a thousand percent right. I can't speak on that. I just speak on like the quality in which like I know my shit has and when I am outside I'm not I necessarily said. speaking from a relevance standpoint right like I talked all the shit in the world as the Except least the relevant that. person mm -hmm. it's not a relevance thing Just so skill. if it's not a relevance thing then why can't I say that you you haven't put out enough to say that well that is relevance though no okay well quality I mean quantity of consumer consumption there not relevancy 
yeah, I'm not basing off okay, but I can take relevance. That. Yeah. You have to, your output has to be more. You might not gain relevancy from that output, yeah. but it'll be that body of work there for when you say, yo, I'm that dude, we'll be able to go to the body of work. Right this second, mm -hmm. it's you saying that and the body of work, the output, it ain't, mat it ain't matching up yet. I'm in agreement with that. So it's like sure. words... It's like doing more work for yourself if the body of work is not there, rather than yeah. just going to put it there. Yeah, I'm especially when some of your peers are dropping the best album <clears throat> and and more consistently. Yeah, 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 yeah. we can't. But shit, a lot of those guys, go. Jid and Boogie, don't drop the most frequently in the world. Yeah, Jid, Jid and Boogie took a while to drop. They just have more recent. They have more recently, recently. dropped. But one thing I will say about Jid, not so much about Boogie, but Jid stays dropping something. Like he does a lot of features. Yeah, and he does um, all he the is, Dreamville And then Dreamville shit, does yeah. a lot of uh, compilation, uh, compilation project. projects, yeah, yeah, which I'm on every one of those, just not as, as much as Jid, of course. True. But yeah, so he stays relevant in that way. He's very, very consistent in that way, for you sure. Said, you said you, you, you going deluxe with this? That's what the hope is. I have a deluxe. I have a deluxe. So that's what the mm. hope is. Yeah. Drop what, a project. What does that mean? It means that my deluxe is done and I, I know the records and it's just going to be about if they want to do a deluxe or not. How long because, after the yeah. original drop does a deluxe get dropped? Usually like a month, usually. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it, it just all depends on what they think it'll generate. It's not really about the quality of it. It's about like the, so it's like if you drop a deluxe with five records and you got to pay five producers, like whatever that price is, because I do have big name producers on my shit, do we think it's going to generate that? Do we think the deluxe is going to generate that? Or are we just going to, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or are we going to put ourselves more in the hole? So that's really where the question of the deluxe comes in. It's like, does it make sense for us to drop a deluxe? What producers you got? Um, I got Boy Wonder. I got Vinyls. I got Super Mario, Hollywood Cole, Mike Hector. Um, Cole, man, he's part of Boy Wonder's uh, camp. Mm. Um, I know I'm missing some people, so I feel bad about it. Latrell James. Um, oh, and then we got a, a producer. His name is uh, Devin Malik. He's also an artist, but he's on this project. But Wonder helped me a lot uh, with, the, with the sound board of a lot of this shit. Him and his camp. Um, just running shit by them and and post production, Coleman did post production through all of it, and he's with Wonders Camp. So production wise, I feel like my shit is in a really, really good place. Like that's what I'm most confident about. I'm more confident about the production than the raps. So yeah, that says a lot. Yeah. So and that was purposely done because I feel like when it's all about the raps, it gets boring. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Anything you learned from your last go round <laughs> that you look forward to applying with this new project? Like are y'all doing? Are you doing anything different, promoting or presenting different, popping up in different spots? Yeah, like I said, being outside more, but one thing, just being like having more personality to my rollout. Like I feel like on my last rollout, mainly because of COVID also, I wasn't able to show who I was as a person and personality wise. Like we doing more fun shit. Like I don't know, like uh, we just did a promo for You Better That Drop where we had like a, uh, it looked like a religion theme. And it was like, we was talking about like praise dancing and open up a church, but it was like bitches twerking. And it was like for the video and whatnot. And that was like, you know, but that's like, that's my personality though. It's like this dark, like humor type of thing. So I want to be able to show more of my personality through, like throughout the creative process and shit. Speaking so, of showing personality, can mm -hmm. you tell us how you would like your partner to respond if she were at the Usher concert by herself? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to respond how Kiki did. Kiki wrong for that. And we got to start, one thing we got to start doing is holding, like, the women's accountability moves too much. Like, we got to start holding women. I'll go to the bathroom. <laughs> we got to start, holding, go to no start holding, like, I, I don't like, 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 we have a thing where, like, women are just not held accountable for anything. And this is not a conversation where I'm trying to bash women because I think Issa Ray she did it perfectly. But... It's like the, the bar yes, moves. Yes, you did. Yeah, the bar the, There's a way to show that you engage with Usher and not look like that. And it's like, where's the accountability? But, you know, we just going to kill. The nigga was a weirdo for doing that, though. I do want to say that. He's Facts. a weirdo for doing what Facts. he did. But that don't mean that Kiki's right. Like, Kiki was wrong for that. Yeah, Kiki was wrong for that. We know that. We agree, for the most part here. Yeah, so. Five, six. Five, five, five six. six of us. Yeah, yeah, five, agree, five, yeah. Five, Who doesn't six. agree? Mel, come on. Nah, nah, nah. There's no way. You... Help me out. I missed what Issa Rae said. No, she oh. just, so she was at the concert and Usher mm. did the same thing, but okay. she just, the way she did it was like keeping enough space. It looked like they were friends. Like she made it to where he's still serenading her, but it's not like crossing any lines. Gotcha. And you can't necessarily say, because a lot of women were saying like, oh, well, Kiki is a star. 
And, you know, if you a star and your dude ain't really, you know, a star like that, like, you know, that's part of the, the play. But mm -hmm. for me, it's like Issa Rae's husband is not a star. Right. At all. It's just a certain level of respect that you have for your husband. Mm -hmm. And if he and he might have had a problem with something she did. We just don't know. 1,000%. <laughs> yep. 1,000%. He didn't take yeah. nothing to the internet. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? Exactly. Like, because yeah, he, he, he could have had a problem with Issa. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I don't think he did, given the video, but you're right, I don't yeah. know. But... The nigga took it to the internet. So that's really why he got dragged is because he took it to the internet. Well, the re I think one of the reasons why he got dragged also was because he, you the know. The mom comment. He, yeah, he mom shamed her and yeah. talked about her outfit when really it wasn't about the clothes. Exactly. It, it was about know, the interaction. The, the, assu the assumption is that his real problem was the assumption even though he said something completely different. So 1,000%. Yeah. The whole thing got yeah. really, they really, both, really messy. To me, they both just goofy Sneak for action. that. Yeah, in my opinion, they both goofy for that. Where did Yo she put the camera in your house? <laughs> So you, you see how like the outlets, it was like a, a plug. Oh, like, oh and then you put like, spy shits in there. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's on like my little... Instagram algorithm. Yeah, you said what? <laughs> I seen that on my algorithm. Oh, yeah. Because it is. Yeah. They're selling no, that shit. Too. Yeah, and it, the shit's it looked like the iPhone plug. Oh, that shit worked. That's yeah. what it looked like. It looked like the little caught iPhone a, plug. Caught a nigga. <laughs> got him. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got him. <laughs> Yo, you said she come through, you smash and scrape, and she gone. Yeah. How the fuck she get to the outlets, my nigga? nigga. Well, no. So, he so when she was hacked, in, so when she was hacked into my phone, my the the apartment I was living in, you could unlock the door on my phone. So she, you can like we have, I have an app to unlock the door. So at that point, she, she was hacking my shit. Yeah, she was hacking to was. my she phone, so she phone. can literally just go. And I looked, and Wait, I you cause I have a log of it being unlocked. So it showed that the door was unlocked when I wasn't there. Wait, like I you have an app in your phone that can unlock your front door? It's called yeah. Butterfly, so Butterfly, right? Yeah. If you have yeah. that app. You don't have the um. Other app, you don't have Find My Chain? <laughs> yo. Hey, yo. Nah, because I got like Find My iPhone. <laughs> Hit the button, you see your chain moving on the map. Oh, those niggas took oh shit. Over there. My chain is at Rolling Loud. There it is. <laughs> Why did they Uber to Rolling Loud? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, you got to get that. Go right now, app store. There's so many rumors of me getting robbed in Houston after Get that, that Find My <laughs> Chain app. Oh, It'll come right back. <laughs> You'll at least know where your shit is at. So you got to go do a feature for it like Dave did. In that. You see me watch oh, Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to go do a feature for your chain back. Yo. Oh, man. That's funny. So you, you set up a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't do your backyard yeah, tour backyard. before, but I'm sure y'all are set up to we're do something. We're set up to go, yeah, on the road this time, for All sure. Right. Yeah, how many, how many cities? Um, that we're still, like, ironing out the details, but it'll be a smaller tour, and then I'll hopefully jump on a bigger tour after that. Got it. So, yeah, something between, like, 8 to 15 cities, like something smaller that's quick, and then jump on a bigger tour after that. I like this. I like the tour album with some of the best songs you've ever made before mm -hmm. uh new mindset want to get out here be seen be heard be visible a little bit your label heard all that shit and still was like yeah, you're gonna do a chainless buddy <laughs> again <laughs> <laughs> i see what you're doing you go get another i like advance? it Nah, I'm, yeah, I'm, he I'm ain't rushing back over there. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. You're not rushing back to get no chain. If if the insurance works out, why would I not? They're gonna crack you. The insurance wasn't the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little air tag glued to the back. Of the chain. <laughs> oh yeah, they could they could idea. do a little spinning air that's tag. Not, oh, that's not a terrible idea. Incorporated. Yeah, that's a not a terrible air tag idea. in the back. I wouldn't yeah. be rushing. No, but actually, I just left a jeweler. Mm -hmm. I just left a jeweler for you got my chain. For what? Wait, wait, exactly. say that. Exactly. Exactly. I'm with you. I can't get no, no, past. No, 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 no. He's saying, he's asking for what? Not, yeah. not said, why. You said, I left the jewel. What were you at the jewel like, for? What did you, you get? cut the four off. Okay, my birthday's coming. Uh, <laughs> okay. What'd you get? What was you I didn't get anything. At? What you looking at? What are you looking at? With any big purchase, before I do anything, I'm going to go there at least four times. <laughs> How many times have you been? Uh, twice. Okay. Halfway okay. there? I went twice. I think I got all the information I need. And now I can't get past the, the, the psychological. Price. It's not the price. It's the psychological. It's a chain. You know, I don't need this. Yeah. I don't need this. Yeah, it's a chain, yo. Yeah, feel that. Feel it's that. a chain that's going around your neck to go where and do this what nigga, to Joe Joe who. He be doing like he's left the reservation. <laughs> <laughs> I can pay for it, and it looks nice. Uh huh. It's just if you they like, said it would take. Like they said it would take two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like two to three months. It's a good price, the same price I'm gonna pay for a watch. But oh, that's a nice shame, two or three months. My shit took two months. Yeah, that's a nice shame. I can't nice get shame. past 
I don't see it. So you I didn't. Say it's not the same price you'll pay for a watch. It's the same price I would end up paying for a watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a different watch. No, I, I you, really nice you know, watches come in different. You know what I mean? Really nice one. The watch that I would get. Oh. <laughs> Which, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. The watch that I would get, it costs about the same I as the chain. Means. I know what that means. Yeah, the, the you won't then. <laughs> no. Oh, you frowned at that one. Uh, oh, you seen that? Hey, hey, you seen him? Yo, this piece of shit. shit. Oh, you frowned at that one. Yeah. Oh, you saw that. I got you. Hey, so send me that one. Yeah. Yeah. He said, no, it's my I'm, birthday. I'm with Why you, bro. I do that? Look, I'm with you, bro. But that's a recent thing for me. Like, they my friends, so they can crack with me. But that's yeah. a recent thing, like, buying myself a gift. Yeah, no, like, I get that. I never did that. I like so. jewelry. I don't like, like, the over, overly, like, you know, like, walking around with 10, 15, 10, but I just, I like jewelry. Like, I like simple shit that looks nice. I like traveling places by myself. Does that do that? Does that correlate with jewelry? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Depend on, right. depend on the well, not if you're an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> not, not if you're used to the don't, I mean, yeah, maybe it don't. But for me, I like traveling by myself. So I feel that. That's feel something that. for me to think I'm more, about. I, I'm more just meant like if you travel by yourself, you don't necessarily have to take it with you when you are literally just by yourself. Oh, makes, you can take it no, with you when, you, when you're a sense. Joe Button. But like then you, you have to saying? think about the places that you go that allow for this and, that's and fair. for me I can't I can't think of no no way I yeah. go do I need this that's fair it's just some nigga shit or I would get it for vacation and on vacation they be telling you yo don't bring yeah. 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 and on vacation it look like nigga shit too mm-hmm. it do right yeah mm-hmm. like you start going to these islands mm-hmm. or nicer places why are you wearing that's, that's not yeah. the representation yeah, that's not the rep- that you yeah. want why are you, you wearing your a salary brand? in the ocean yeah. mm-hmm. no it's not, like, like <laughs> shit clink clink clinking mm-hmm. on you yeah. like when I've gone to like Cancun and shit like I don't bring my jewelry cause it's like it's no real Point. White t shirt shorts. Yeah, white t shirt mm-hmm. shorts. Air Force ones. Yeah. Yeah. But That's now cool. that I've gone and priced and just looked around, boy, the rappers would have you think now a lot of them is wearing trash. No, I for didn't sure. know that until I had to go. I didn't know all that shit look fancy. Yeah, for sure. It's some new shit it's out too that a lot of rappers got, is wearing. Mm-hmm. That, that, they got uh, them shits that, that dance all crazy. Yeah, I was about to say that. And it'll pass the diamond test. It's some new yeah. shit that rappers is wearing. I told, 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 told y'all yeah. about it. It's, it's two diamond get, testers. Yeah. Something's a night. Yeah, mo- exactly. Mo- oh, exactly. Yeah. I'm blanking yeah. yeah. on the name Moist right tonight. You can get it. Yeah, they got last You can get a thirty. You can get what looks like a thirty thousand dollar chain for like twenty two hundred for like twenty. So let me ask, right? Why is that a bad thing? It's not. I'm about to get like three of those. I'm going to keep it a buck, right? <laughs> like, yeah, we're getting right. it for the... Yeah. Like, like three of those. If we get because I'm a rapper, they're going to assume it's real anyway. That's true. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But if we get it for the look... Nigga, I had um, a, a football player, wealthy football player, tell yeah. me, nigga, my watch is a replica. This is this. this, is this. He was like, nigga, I got it. Yeah. So like, I... Uh, because you're only, you only supposed to be buying it for he said the it look anyway. Up. Like, so it's yeah, like, this, this still gives me like, the why am I spending this money? Man, it Chad, still gives me the look, and they're going to assume I got it anyway. Chad said he was getting his earrings at Clears, man. That's what I'm talking about. I was willing to say that. He told me he straight up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah, know yeah, on yeah. TV. Yeah, he, he told me himself. Yeah, so Chad yo, this said, yo, fam, I'm Chad Ocho Cinco. The chick going to fuck with me anyway. She know I got money. I'm going to Clears. Oh, God. Like, why? I'm about to for sure give me like three, four more tonight pieces. Pop out, eight thousand total. Blank that out. <laughs> eight thousand total. Live life, man. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Like, man, it ain't no more rules in this shit anyway, bro. Everything is just a yeah. It's a facade. Yeah, it's a facade. It's a facade. And you can like, go changing the rules. The, the shit that the shit that used to matter go. back in the it's day. It's not changing it don't the rules. No more. Look, look, Say that again. The, the shit that yeah. used to matter don't matter no more anyway. Me and so had a whole it, argument about yeah, that. Y'all so niggas are changing it. Yeah, I mean it did. It's changing the rules. It's just. It just, just don't, don't matter. And are we gonna sit here and like everyone's chain over the history of hip hop has been real? Like no. Come on, when we out that shit was yeah. When we found out they had Fufu Gaga, we got on their ass about it. We did. It's niggas changing the rules. But look, just hear me out. Yeah, just changing today, it. Yeah. Today, I don't know. You find out a nigga got what you call it, Fufu Gaga. Yeah, yeah. You get on his ass about it. Pause. How? You know how it pause. You I'm know. just saying you gonna laugh and clown him and shit, right? And then he gonna still get it, right? That's <laughs> be there. I know, but okay. still, nigga, that's still how we and, doing. And you gonna clown yep. him about it, and it's just gonna go viral, and it's gonna help that nigga out more. And then that fuck me up if so. you tell me like yeah. Slick Rick had fake jewelry. Then, then it's like, happening. oh my god, yeah, never. <laughs> That's I'll be just as fucked up as face. finding out Slick Rick was from like London. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that fucked a lot of niggas. Up. He <laughs> fucked, up. Yeah, he fucked me up, up with that yeah. one. And then you could hear it. It was like, oh, oh yeah. And then you could hear it. 
I couldn't hear it before that. No, as soon as it was said, I was, was like, a child. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. I was a child. It was, like it was like obvious as soon as you did it. And how would I know how a London person sound <laughs> when Children's Story is out? <laughs> I just learned that like a few years ago. <laughs> what top boy drop? What's up on the top? <laughs> oh, when Top Boy dropped, <laughs> he loved that Top Boy. <laughs> that nigga is never seen that shit. Me neither. Stop. Shout out to y'all, though. Me neither. The rule changes. Oh, man, Reeves. All right, Reeves don't give a fuck. You like, you like the new hip hop better with the rule changes? Nah, it's corny to me, but it's just oh, kind of like, shit. Yeah, it is, it's corny. But yeah, it's just we like, it recently. I'm not changing it. It's, just, it's, it's honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. It's really like not y'all, but like y'all, like the media. Like mm. the media, if the media stop covering corny shit, niggas will stop doing corny shit. But it get talked about everywhere as soon as you do some corny shit. So it's like, they just be like, fuck niggas, it, why niggas not? Niggas is rushing out, jumping out the window to do corny shit. Yeah, like mm. it's like, it, it's gonna get talked about everywhere. So it's like, why not? Do corny shit like niggas couldn't wait to like, and this album is fire, but niggas couldn't wait to listen to Gunna album. Like, if if niggas actually saw repercussions for the corny shit, then they would stop doing corny shit. But they don't. Oh they my god! Props. Then I wouldn't have a fuck you mean to listen to. That's, that's what I'm saying. And Rodale Drive. <laughs> and Brett, it goes right into Brett. Rodale oh, Drive. It do go into Rodale Drive. Oh, like that, that's crazy. one of the best transitions I've Yo, ever god. heard. Oh god, this shit that's crazy. true. Yeah. Fuck you mean. That boy delivered. I don't know what y'all think about that man. Yeah. And he ain't rat on no girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a difference. That's a difference. <laughs> oh, Reeves, don't let it be years. Don't let it be years again before Word. we, before it won't, we man. see you again. It won't. Yeah, I'll be, you you I'll are be more back. than welcome here. Yeah. I mean, I don't owe no grudge. You still, you still <laughs> maneuver around your pod streets. I ain't going. I actually thought you was going to give me uh, be more petty about that. So please, yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, okay. I don't care at all. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy you're doing well. Same, same. You got to cherish people while they're in front of you. I ain't got time to beef about it. That shit don't matter. That That's shit beautiful. about nothing. Yeah, I agree. I'm trying. I'm trying to mature. By 45, trying to look. Hey, and this is I'm actually a, this is one of my steps, and I'm not wearing no hat. That's tough for me. That's tough. <laughs> I was gonna say like, because hey, I haven't seen you in a minute. Like, like you was way your, pettier the last time I saw you. Way pettier. That's one of your transformations. Yeah. No hat. No, that's part of the transformation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wear hats. Oh no, I want to wear. I don't want to be a slave to hats. I've been left that alone. Yeah, Fuck I want to be a slave to hats. Fuck that. I miss wearing hats sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I stood on that hill a long time ago. I never went back. You good here having motherfucker. What this got to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't a slave to your hat. I used to wear hats every day, all day, from fucking sixth grade till 27 or some shit like that. Yeah, but if you take it off and look like fucking David Beckham here, what the <laughs> fuck do you mean? <laughs> Reese. We gotta find your chain, man. I get another one, man. I'm just a little still, you know, still sick about it, but I get another one. You in town for a few days, right? What what yeah. extracurricular act activities um, you getting into? Anything? I don't know, but I'm I'm open. Anything I'm open. fun? I, I don't have nothing lined up right now besides press for real, but I'm open. Do the girls? Do, 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 does the little stalker girl have you traumatized from the nightlife? Nah, nah. I, that that was it, it. Stopped a while ago, so I think that she's moved on. I hope she's moved on. Maybe she's stalking somebody else, but. Okay, so yeah. you are right to move around out I'm here. I'm good to you. As long yeah. as she's not within 200 feet. Of <laughs> of the, all right. All right yeah, go. I'm good money. Your man is taking pictures. Where's this stuff going? He, we're not putting nothing out unless y'all say that we can put it out. Yeah. But if we say that, where's it going? Content. IG. Blogs. IG. I don't know. Yeah. We just told him to record. I, I don't even have a plan for it yet. I'm just telling him to record. It's fine. Do yeah. your shit. Yeah. Come back after the album comes out. Definitely. We want to hear it. Mm -hmm. and, and be honest I spoke too. to Killer Mike before his album came yeah. out mm -hmm. yeah. and after that nigga put his dick on the table he was so thrilled with how that came out he yeah, didn't yeah, run yeah. from it yo what you think now you heard it do you yeah. love it so same if you I don't run say, yeah, I'm not cause I'm not. I need and, to see if I the want, shit you talk line up with what's want, on here I want, the, I want the honesty from it all I, all I ask for is full listens and honesty after it I don't want the the Skim. The review, yeah, the skim through review and all I ask for are full listens and then, you know, honestly after. And if you hate it, tell me you hate it. I'm with that. If the first six is fire, I will give it a full listen. Bet. I'm with that. If at around six or seven it starts to get shaky, mm -hmm. then I will skim through and lie to my audience. 
You just blew it up, you fucking like sick of That's what I'm going to do. Yo, I mean, toward the end, I mean. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, before you go, is there anything, is there anything that you wish interviewers would ask you but they never do? I just wish interviewers would stop asking me like what it's like to work with Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> no. That gotta be annoying. No. Yeah, be like, and yeah, that's really it. Like I just want to be able to like push my brand and be reason and not be like it's a blessing to be from TDE because you have that you know legacy behind you. But it's also like when you're asked questions about artists that you don't really have relationships about. But I gotta lie and act like I gotta relate. Like it's like yeah, yeah. yeah it's awkward. That's yeah. always mm-hmm. boring. Yeah. What does Kendrick think about when you're asking? <laughs> <laughs> does he think this is your best album? <laughs> uh, make sure you come back after the album. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, up. Reason. Thank you, man. That's my man. That boy's good. No, he's good. <laughs> it's a good guy. Hey, man. I'm just glad to be here for real. I'm glad glad to have you. Gina, yo. Huh? Gina. Gina, somebody. I, I know. Fuck what he's talking about. Nobody, I Gina. Oh, it's just not a play on words. A yeah, it was like, just nobody. A gorgeous amalgamation. Amalgamation. Gorgeous Oh, shit. <laughs> not the Gina acronym. <laughs> Yo, acronyms used to be that shit. <laughs> gorgeous <laughs> inside <laughs> and around. <laughs> <laughs> we out, man. Peace. Peace. Psych. Psych your mind. We're back with the same gang that we said was leaving. Psych Fake man. out. I thought uh, don't like... believe what you hear on podcasts. Trick keep telling you that. Tricked him. That nigga Flip was already halfway out the door. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> he was out of here, boy. That nigga made it uptown. Yeah, you know he don't play. Yo, we done, right? We're done. <laughs> Gotta meet Hulk Hogan up the street. <laughs> now, me and Hulk, you big Hulk, you know? <laughs> That's my man right there. Get your shit off. Uh, cucking. <sighs> That's what you. Prince, are you familiar with the whole Adam 22 situation? A, a I try to stay away from the Adam 22 news, but I am. But you did hear about him and his I heard wife. I about him letting like his wife like have like a scene or something like that. Yeah, porn. A whole yeah, he a, was a porn, porn. Yeah. yeah, he did. He felt like he did the black people wrong, and he was allowing a, a black man to do reparations. His wife wrong. Yeah, reparations. His reparations. <laughs> yeah. Niggas don't want that as reparation. <laughs> That's not it. That's <laughs> not <laughs> niggas was fucking. Niggas. Hold up, niggas was fucking slave masters' wives. Niggas, stop. You forgot. That's what Ish said. Ish said he would do that if he was in the house as a house nigga. I think I would. He said that. He said that on a, bro, on a <laughs> national <laughs> podcast. Probably, nah, 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 if you was a house nigga, you fuck the. Uh, you the, motherfucking the right. <laughs> Ish, do you think you're a product of that Ish? Dog, he done Yo. with me. I'm Yo, <laughs> what you Yo, doing? What is going Yo. on? What's <laughs> wrong with you? Fuck you talking about? Gotta... <laughs> He's delirious. He, That's my man. Nah, he want to say his little lie. Nanny, go. <laughs> he want to say his little lie. Nanny, yeah, yeah, nanny. Burning him up. He's burning him up. Burning him up. Yo, Mel. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to say that shit. That shit no more. was fucking hilarious. All right, you he that. doubled down on that shit. All right. <laughs> That you would do no, that. He said he would fuck if, if he hey, was yo, a slave, he'll fuck, he'll fuck the slave. Would you, you, would you be in fear for your life while you're doing that? Absolutely. Back in the day, you had to go to town for three, four days. You wouldn't come back. And That's a good point. And they was riding horses and shit. And I was going to be riding wifey. Mm. <laughs> Wifey's horse. <laughs> <laughs> he did the noise. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You crazy? Dog. That nigga said, what, be- what better, what better <laughs> revenge? Handicap-ass horse. Yeah. What better revenge, yo? Yo, let me ask you a question. It's say if you have some property, right, that your ancestors have, but the, 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 the white people own it. Like, how hard would you go? Because, you know, you pro- you're procrastinator. Would you go hard, nigga, and get your shit back for your family's sake? Say if you had some ancestral property, some property... That you know, some of your ancestors have, but you know, the town might own it now. And since you're a procrastinator, would you say, man, man, fuck that, let them have it? Or would you become Ishmael? Would you be Antoine or Ishmael? Which one? I'm gonna hire a lawyer and let the lawyer work it out. <laughs> okay, got it. So you're not gonna go into the town, you're gonna just. Yeah, I mean, all of it. Okay, just make sure. What? I ain't saying nothing. This is on my mind. <laughs> You've never procrastinated with a lawyer, I'm sure. <laughs> I definitely did. I definitely did. A bunch of times. Literally. Damn. That's a wild question. No, I just think about it. I just...
It's going to get his shit. Think so? Property? Absolutely. That's all I heard. Can he afford to maintain? If he can afford to maintain it, he'll ask himself that. Oh yeah, I'm I'm going to get it. Hmm. My try. See, like, like, it seems like he like other shit come before other. He got shit. a lot of doors. Yeah, he tried to juggle mm. shit. He got a lot of doors. Mm. Look, what's the whistling? He yeah, always whistle when they make you doors. Ice, yeah, ice father, get that nigga. No. <laughs> well, no whistling in the source. <laughs> no, that's why I don't fuck with him. And the source is my <laughs> uncle. Yo, what? My yo, uncle. dog, did you memorize my whole entire? Yeah, yes. my uncle shows me my I'm a, door. All right, let me make myself. You give niggas steak him while you get the source tomahawk, nigga. Oh, I know on Reddit they make it a thing that I want all of y'all to fail and not do good in life. But you fans all of them. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, every last one of them. Anything that they do outside here, I watch that shit. You shitting me? And find a way to like take some of the credit, except <laughs> except except, except for Mel's, uh, you know, ABC. Oh fuck, so, Ice! Well, you are right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm taking this snitching shit to another level. So this nigga admitted I, some I, I shit today. I affected the room. I affected the room. <laughs> no, my shit not snitching. No, you ain't. What do you call it? You, you, you got the restraining order too. You got the whole snitch package. <laughs> <laughs> you got the snitch the 360. The bundle. Yeah, the yeah, bundle. The, the, yeah, the bundle. Yeah, the bundle. Yeah, it was only two ways he could attack. Look, the that's a fact. Yeah, he's right though. He's right. It's right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, pro, do I don't promote you know violence. Uh, violence. Yeah. I don't do that. Yeah, that's right. Especially between a man and a woman. That's right. Bow. So what? Stop, y'all. She said, ah. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Time up. Don't you have a twin brother? Yeah, I got a twin Why brother. Why don't you just say it was him the whole time? Yeah, because that, that doesn't work when you're, like, dating a woman that knows the difference between you and your twin brother. How's you know the difference? Uh, y'all identical? We look identical, but we're not identical. We're What's different identical. about y'all, though? Uh, I mean, it's just, like, small differences. Like, if you if he was sitting right here, you could tell the difference. But if I walked out the room and he walked in, you wouldn't be able to tell. Wow. You got it. Yeah. What does he do for a living? Nigga. He's a football coach. <laughs> you, you, Salute. What, that was Sean. That was not <laughs> me. Word. I left the nigga. I was on tour. Me and Kendrick. <laughs> you know, that nigga was in the house doing his thing. I'm going to curse that nigga out when I come back. If I had a twin Wearing brother, you're not giving me for nothing. Nothing. It's all him. It's, nothing at it all. It sounds easier than it is to, you get what I'm saying? We've done it before like with like bitches that you don't like, not really fucking with like that. There's a clip that Adam did. Adam did an uh, interview like a year ago where he was talking about him doing scenes with girls and why he would never let a guy do a scene. And in the clip, he was like, I am not that broke <laughs> to where I'm letting a guy. That's hilarious now. And now when you're just looking at how they rolling this out, how they popped up on every single mm -hmm. media outlet to promote this thing, it's like, why are we calling it cucking and not pimping? It's absolutely pimping. Mm. It's literally pimping. How come the word gets to change Ooh. when it's him? That's a good one. Maybe because she's voluntarily doing it and she's reaping the benefits of it. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. The hoes voluntarily do it mm. also. Oh, shit. It's not like and they, reap some of the benefits. And they reap some of the benefits. Probably not as much as Did she's reaping. Mm -mm. He's right, though. The marriage is what makes you look at it yeah. different. Yeah, marriage is the difference between she got better splits. and pepper. Yeah. Yeah, it's because they're married. They got a joint account. Yeah, 70 30. You got a joint account with your girl? No. Would what? you? No. Why? I just, I don't, I don't really. You don't trust like, her, really, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he will find a way. <laughs> Yo, you just will. I'll just be listening. I just, I just feel like it's like extra work for nothing. You got to <laughs> oh, shit. My bad. You feel like it's extra work? Extra, like extra work, like just to argue later. Like, I feel like certain things, like, that get thrown into relationships are just extra work to argue later. Like sharing locations, sharing accounts, like certain stuff is just like setups for arguments later. I don't like to argue. So. Sharing locations? You like just like do what you want, right? Sharing locations is like. <laughs> you sharing locations with your girl, right? I said that's, that's a setup for arguing. location with me. Why? Where are you? You're going to argue like the, the moment you're not where you say that you are, like 
you're gonna argue about it. So why not just so be where you see you're gonna be? Because you can't always like you can't always account for that. You get what I'm saying? Like you can't always account for like where you say you're gonna be. Yeah, you can't. Like, <laughs> nah, I feel you. Shit, yeah, shit happens. Like, oh, shit. Somebody be like, oh, I'm going here, and then the plans change, and now I gotta update her every single time the plans change. No, she's true. updated already. She's, she's looking at it. <laughs> but then it's a conversation. But exactly. Now she's like, oh, why you said you, you were said going you over there? So like, like you, said, you, you might take a drink, and then you might just end up somewhere else. If you don't wear the pants and your shit, right, Reese? You might take a couple drinks. End up somewhere else. You yeah. might end up somewhere else, and Respect. then you over there, and now it's an argument. True, I I agree. Agree. argument I over nothing because you're not really doing nothing, but it looked like you're doing something because you said you was here, but you really there. But the fact you just got to explain the fact you know you done cheated yeah. so much, right? You can't even afford for it to look like that. That's crazy for you to just like. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> hey, Reece, yo, yo, nah, for real. I can't. Hold on, hold on. What, His location what, can't change. What's, what's, what's your girl said when you told her you left your chain in an Uber? Well, at the time she was mad at me, so she wasn't even giving a fuck about my chain. Okay. She was already upset at me. But she like it ain't like she it's not like she didn't believe me if that's what you getting at. Like, you know, she, she knew. Yeah. She knows I get too drunk sometimes. She knows me. Can she get her lick back? <laughs> like like from the shit that I did? Yes. Yeah. I said that in the record that I told you didn't make the album, I say a line where I say, At times I wish you cheated on me also just so I could show you I would stick with you the same the same way. I said that in the line. Well, that Not saying funny. that I'm advertising it, but <laughs> I believe I believe in keeping the same energy. I do. No, I, I believe in keeping the same energy. Hey, yo, no. Reese, chill the fuck out, man. I believe in keeping <laughs> it's some bullshit with you now. <laughs> it's some shit with you. Oh, shit. Even yo, that, even we that, know oh, she's gonna watch this, bro. Even Holy you got shit. Her. She's back already. Yo, Reese, I have it in she's the, back. Yo, Reese. The song, so why, why would I be sitting What type of take, nigga? Maybe I deserve head ass. It's just, you don't take your I believe, that's the thing. Am I gonna be upset? Yes, but I'm not about to, like, I'm not about to leave nobody for doing the shit that I did. I don't believe in doing that. <laughs> I keep the same. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> approximately. <laughs> just approximately. How many separate instances were you caught? You can't tell. A lot. <laughs> it, it wasn't was a just lot. this ten. one. Yeah. You can hear somewhere it. around there. Around yeah. ten. Yeah. So. No disrespect. Oh, she can't should, do ten. You she should stop. You should stop. She can't do ten. Can't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this ain't your back. She can only, she can only, hey, she can only do one. She can only do one. If you that got, she can only do one. You should stop doing one. that. Yeah. Okay. If you get caught doing anything ten times, <laughs> that might, that easy, might not be the five. To, really, it's easy to say that when nobody's in your phone. If somebody was in your Yo, phone, if somebody's in my phone right now. <laughs> but you now, you now, you missed it. You missed it. I'm not doing nothing no more. But in your prime, I had to learn. If somebody was, that's what I'm <laughs> I had to learn my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody's in your phone while you sure. on bullshit, like you're going to, like there is no way to not get caught. Like I hate the narrative when people say, "Oh, men are bad at cheating." No, I'm not. If I cheat, and this is hypothetical for me right away. Like but if I cheat guy. 99 times and get caught though. once, I like him too. I'm very good. Cheat. I'm really good at you it. You get caught 10 times, my nigga. Yeah, but if you <laughs> cheated, okay. he's not bad at Give cheating. It to me. I'm not saying I'm not bad at cheating. I'm not he, saying I'm not bad at cheating. Look, he got <laughs> into a situation with a young, one person. Uh, unprecedented situation. Yeah. That, 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 I'm not talking about that one yeah. person. She the one that sent all the information to his baby. Every you, time he, she's counts. catching him over and over and over. So you ain't yeah, get caught. Counts. You ain't get caught before Seven. that. No. Oh, okay. oh, I count that. Mm. No. You know what I'm saying? I count that though. You're not counting it. No, I'm saying yeah, it counts because the one girl that he should have never fucked in hindsight ends up being the person though that revealed all his other indiscretions. Yes, I am counting that, and it's happened to me. Mm. And when the stalker girl introduces her to all the other chicks that you fuck to, <laughs> she now has the gambit. She has true, true, no, true. For sure. she I'm, got him. I'm which is where that, that deleting thread shit come from and yeah. like it's some precautionary uh, measures that you take so that even the stalker can't put your girl on to some shit true, that was in true, your... True, true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or you just stop. But she can get there one lick go. back. Yeah, I'm with you on the stop. Yeah, but she can get stop. one lick back. Yeah, that's the max I could be able to handle. Like it's my ego. So then, you're, and it so, depends on how it happens. So then, it's capping now, what, your raps. It's 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 like half cap. But well, like, I'm saying. Well, like, what if that one lick back is like with him? That's why I said it depends on how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear that it shit. Depends on, it depends on how it happens. Right. She can get one lick back, and it depends on how it happens. And I'm big on like, don't I don't want to know details. Oh no, you just took. The, I don't want to know. You just playing me, keep it on the low. You just fucking have stepped on to our JBP game that I would like to play, <laughs> which is who can your wife fuck? 
Let's design this nigga. Let's design. <laughs> let's design no. the nigga. That let's nigga design the nigga. All right, because uh, she gets she's getting her look back. What if it's logic? If, what if, crazy if, combo if you, for me to like you, be yeah, in? How tall are you? This is great. I'm six feet. What if it's logic? But six a, feet. What but a five on? nine is six feet. <laughs> nah, like, with shoes on, six feet. With shoes. Yeah, it's a five. Yeah, four, one. With, with McQueens. Yeah. yeah. We're not, nah. <laughs> we're, we're like we're like we're Stand like horses or. Maybe. Yeah. Why are you a co- <laughs> <laughs> That's a little five, ten. That's a five, ten, six feet. All right, so listen, what can this dude be better at than this you? This is a crazy comp for me to be describing what can, the what nigga can, that my girl can You fuck put it in a rap. <laughs> don't put no, it in a rap if you don't mean it. No, Yo, sometimes I, I wish you cheated too <laughs> so you could understand I wouldn't leave you, boo. Just like you. Yeah, you did that. Describe the nigga. No, I, didn't I don't want a description. Eyes, I don't like. want a description. I want to know what he can be better at than you that you would allow. He can't what? be a better rapper. Can't be a better rapper. All right, let's get <laughs> so logic. Sure. Sing, singing, oh. singing, <laughs> rapper or I got music? A whole clip already for that. <laughs> I got a whole clip for that. Already. Rapper or music? Uh, he can. He can't be a. Music. He can't be a music. He can't be, he can't a, be music. a music. He can't be a music. He can't be a music. He can. He can athlete. have a normal job. Athlete. Basketball what player. <laughs> NBA superstar. Uh, NBA. No. 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 He's not he not no. He can be. He can be a mid-level overseas player. Oh shit! <laughs> that I don't know if hey, he's gonna play basketball. Overseas yet. niggas is the plan B. <laughs> they the plan B. I ain't gonna hold you. They're okay, so if you can be a mid level, uh, that means yeah. you're cool with him being taller than you. Mm-hmm. I'd be okay with that. It doesn't bother me. Thicker than you. In right? better shape. Thicker is crazy. Like Why do you use such no. words, bro? Why are you like? <laughs> what do you know what that means, bro? Dog. Adam More picked. Girthy. Adam picked a nigga who he shouldn't have picked. <laughs> He ain't picked that nigga, did he? Yeah. You lie. I heard he picked yeah. him. Yeah. Didn't she pick him and he, 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 he was like, okay? She, she was a fan and he him, reached out yeah. and said, what's your yeah. rate? Yeah. See, that's that's where I get confused. You, that was yeah. wrong. That yeah. was wrong. We, we, we reported that wrong. That was a phone call that... No, I'm not talking about his interview. Adam Adam's text that he put out. Adam's text. Yeah. From my said, understanding, he reached oh, out was and that asked about rate. That was wrong. No, the guy posted their conversation, their text conversation. Yeah. 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 And he was the asking guy, about the weight, right? No, yeah. Saying. Guy posted a conversation not from Adam, from somebody else, and he was like, "Yo, what's your rate?" And that got da, da, da. put. And that got put with Adam, but that gotcha. wasn't a conversation. But I think the dude name is Jason or Justin or something. Jason mm-hmm. Love, I think. And, and but him and Adam, that wasn't a conversation between him and Adam. That was a conversation amongst him and another cuck. But I do think Adam was involved in the picking of. Oh, I'm sure. What is a cuck? A cuckold. And somebody, get, yeah, somebody yeah. who that get off on watching their wife fuck other dudes, and gotcha. girl fuck other dudes. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Dudes is where you lose me in being a cuck. If you want to find one dude to do this with potentially, that nigga gonna get boring after a while. Oh, then end the end the Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you reach the final level one dude and come. watch him. And if you're asking me in my brain, I always say yes until. You start to trying to put the steps together to make it come to. Uh, what was your question? Come to I was life. asking him if he would be yeah, okay because he said, I, no, he cool said where he lost like me was dudes like with an S. Oh, plural. So I asked him like, would you be okay with like, would he be okay with? If, if I were, I, we would vet. We would vet the dude. It would that be NBA. That's not Nobody what I asked. Would ever I asked know. If you would be okay with that? He said, oh, yeah. I thought I started with. Oh that. no, he said if I were to be okay, I said like if I were. I to don't be know because okay. I can't say I'm okay with watching that happen. Right, like as I've taken steps. Even imaginary to attempt to get off. when I get closer, I back out. Yeah, I can never do that. And the one time we was out of yeah. town, just help. my luck, where I was feeling <coughs> saucy <coughs> and spicy, <laughs> and we walked up in the club, the outdoor club. It was a group of some fucking foreign looking niggas over there, tall, like they had never been nowhere a day before. This is and they, crazy. they was drinking, they was staring. This, this De- is Dexter the same. St. Jock came up. They was staring all at my girl. I went in there, bought a bottle. What the fuck? You I sat down. Was crazy. And I was in there bored. They wasn't playing no slaps. <laughs> and I tapped my girl and I said, hey. You want to fuck one of them niggas over there, huh? No. That's what you said. <laughs> I Don't said, you, you see them right there? there? Look at homeboy. Look at him. You see him? The nigga that keeps staring over here? And my girl said, yeah. I said, go flare with that nigga. That's Let's see what crazy. happens. But what I didn't factor in was... Him flirting back? No. My girl is like 
Not the greatest conversationalist with strangers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play it all the way out. <laughs> Like yeah. awkward. And this geeky, doofy fucking nigga from uh, out of he town rejected her. He is over there talking about his job. Now they done sat there. These two idiots is having a long talk. I'm across the club with the phone. <laughs> I'm across the phone. Now security is like, hey, Joe, you can't, you can't tape it here. I'm like, well, would they speed it the fuck up? <laughs> Think about the time I walked over there. This nigga act like this nigga said she was his therapist. <laughs> Why are you, dog? Move. <laughs> End of this. It took all the fun away from us. It ain't fun for me. Yeah, we got out of here. I went to bed. This is a crazy conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Turn some shit up. I mean, that's not turning it up. There's levels. I don't, yeah. Whatever volume that is, bring me down like, <laughs> to like six. Turn it up. I ain't turning it up that loud. I could watch my girl fuck another girl. I could do that. And not be involved, like mo how most niggas would be. Yeah, <laughs> nah, but it's not. It's not. It's, I know it's some niggas that can't do that. I'm about to say I know some niggas that cannot stomach that. They can't stomach their girl. What if she got a strap? Damn, that changes things. <laughs> <laughs> that changes. Yeah, I can't. She, she I can't. back out with it too. I can't. Like. <laughs> I can't. I can. That changes things. I can't. She throwing a strap and start pounding your girl. <laughs> Cause they always get the big straps. Yeah, so. like, they go, like, 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 let's, let's, like, no, let's keep it 100%. They don't get the nine. They don't get the nine. They don't get the one team, 15 shit. Yeah, they, they never pull out the medium. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, like, they, 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 they always pull out the shit. Like, and they be, they be holding yeah. it, they do a wild shit, they like, yeah. I don't do that. They don't have the stamina you got. They going. Like, it ain't nothing that you got. They going. You right. You right. They don't worry about nothing. Nigga, she go. She beating, she beating your girl shit up. <laughs> Beating her shit up. Like Why they got more minutes. stamina like that, right? Because it's a plastic, plastic, nigga. This shit ain't going to go limp. But you still busting your shape, pelvic. Nigga, yeah, they in shape. Pilates. Yeah. And yoga. Chill the fuck out. See, you know, that was a trick. I tricked you, you little freak. <laughs> freak ass girl. Yeah, yeah. You held your leg up in the air earlier. Now you say some Pilates shit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Not too much on No, don't now. do it now. Yeah. All right, please. Thank God. <laughs> that wasn't going to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the strap the changes it, though. The strap yeah, it changes cool. it. Yeah. Yeah, niggas is nuts, my nigga. I'm well, you're cool with the strap? Who? You. Yeah, yeah. You cool with a girl? <laughs> fucking your girl with Strapping the strap? them down? Um, Strapping your <laughs> strap I think. I think, that, I think that if they... It's, it's two women. Uh-huh. So... Whatever they would embark on is still two women. Yo, I, when niggas start I using words like embark, <laughs> I don't look at them like I think somebody, that, somebody, I please. Not, nigga, somebody they, help. Embark, I embark, <laughs> embark on pounding my wife's pussy with a big ass dildo. Embark, because it sounds softer than beating your girl. Yeah. Shut up. Nah. It sounds softer. You trying to pontificate nah, this shit? Saying, nigga, answer the fucking I question. I answered it. I said well, I think if she would happen to fucking... embark on such an, a, 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 a <laughs> thrillist occasion, a journey with Frodo to Middle Earth. Oh, no. Well, if her endeavor <laughs> took her yawn wild, then. <laughs> all right, so what if, what, if, what if you allow it to happen, and then, like, the next time y'all about to have sex, you're like, yo, can we call Michelle over again? Does that make you feel away? I'm a pop Michelle now. What if she like, I, I want to do the same thing? Like, how many times can she do that? Can that be a regular thing? It's a, like, it's a conversation at that point. That, that's what niggas be scared of when they start talking threesomes with their significant that's other. That's real. That's that they significant other going to double back. <laughs> that's yeah, real. insecurity start kicking in like, yo, what if she start fucking with this chick on the norm and I lose my chick to her? Niggas be scared of that. Shorty might get busy better than you. Well, niggas just may not like that. Or that. But if, if you won't like that, then you wouldn't You wouldn't even entertain it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? That's when you got to pull shorty to the show. Yo, don't fuck my girl. Like, <laughs> bring that yo, shit so down a little bit. So you're sitting in the room with your hands folded and watch. I've done that. <laughs> I, I've never done that with my girl. That. i never done that with my girl. I'm just okay. saying. And I'm just saying, you did it before. Be, I think I would be open to that. Okay, you'll sit and watch. Yeah, I think I would be open right, Would it be dark or light? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I mean, well, I, I you like where you're going. My question is, are you gonna take my shit? Because I like where you're going. I just hate where you went. What, what, <laughs> sitting there watching? What would you like to see from your partner? Would you like to see your partner dominate? Mm -hmm. Would you like to see your partner be submissive in that situation? Because when I was I in that know. situation, I was with. I want mine to dominate. Yeah, I was with a girl, and I didn't know she dominated girls like that. I had never seen her with a girl. Yeah. She had and she's very you. different. What she's you? a girl with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with her, she was like an, a monster. A nigga. A nigga. A nigga. A nigga. Yeah. A nigga. Who is but this that girl? On that turned you on or off, Not necessarily. Turned him off. That shit turned you off. Turned you off? Like, 
They turn you on. One of my homegirls. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I, I know you don't know who they are. Ways, mm-hmm. And they like, yo. So one of my homegirls was like, what he said. Yo, with a man, I take on a role. Mm-hmm. But in, in everybody, they got, you know, yin, yin and yang. She mm-hmm. like, so with the dude, she could be the sub. And with other chicks, she'll dominate the chicks. And that's what turned her on. So she get the best of both worlds by going both ways. Another one of my homegirls was like, yo, she, she is submissive in both. Mm-hmm. She was like, yo, the way a man kisses you is different than the way a chick kisses you. She can enjoy both. She can enjoy the, the you know, roughness of a dude, but also the softness of a chick. So, I, you know, I've heard it both ways from different chicks. Nah, that shit I fire. never, I never, <laughs> yeah, nah. That shit fire. Like, what, I never ahead, really, tell um, shit up. I think I would be open to it. I, I never did it, but I think I would be open to it. Nah, I know my man happened. He got turned off. He's like, I don't know this bitch. Man. She was wailing. You don't like that. It's, it does something psychologically to you. Maybe yeah. you 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 fuck with somebody. And she all oh yeah, and, and then now you see her. You watching her fuck somebody else, and she's dominating, wilding, doing all type of shit that you ain't know she was capable of. You ain't bring it out of her. Yeah, well, yeah, it yeah, they can get tricky. Yeah, get tricky mentally. We, I just mm-hmm. don't see how it can get tricky if it's with another woman. Like I just never. Be, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All too. the way. I in never the world. be jealous it's of definitely being cool. with another woman. It's not about, je- it's not about jealousy. You see, we use the wrong. It's not jealousy. What you call it? It's, it's more. It's not what jealousy. It? It's more like. I didn't know you were capable of this. And that's where insecurity is. Like, Damn, this. I couldn't bring that out of you? No. no you jealous now because she never did that for you. She yeah, never no, responded in that manner but her, for what, you. But, she never got that What, controlling? Switch. Controlling? Whatever the She's case is. No, hold on. Be. You got to put it in context. Listen. She is controlling the situation, acting like a nigga. Mm-hmm. Well, she never controlled me like a nigga. I don't want to be controlled like a nigga. <laughs> but you just, I didn't know you now had you this know. side of you. <laughs> I, I, how you I know, know I don't want to be controlled like a nigga, you sick fuck? <laughs> what type of sick shit you into, nigga? Hey, yo, yo don't play that shit, that I'm just saying, like, yo, you never, you never, you never fucked with a chick and she tried to choke you? Yeah, that's different, though. What's that's the, not, that's, that's dumb. What's dumb. the difference? No, no, that's dominating. Different. Like, like, like I, I get it. You against that? No, I'm not. Oh, all right. I'm not against it. And, 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 and I'm not even getting to that topic. The, the, I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. Why are you getting nervous? No, no, because <laughs> it's never Are you good? Yeah. Start scratching what you mean never happened? You never been choked, right? No, never yeah, you ain't got free front for the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free front for the fellas. I, I just feel like if you watch a woman that you've been dominating who, you know, in the bed and you watch her do some ill shit, like, it makes you, it's very tricky. I agree with Joe. It's, you start to think things. It has nothing to do with jealousy. Like, I'm jealous you did that. It's just, I don't fucking know you. It's like it's like nigga dating a serial killer. <laughs> That's crazy. For real, it's no, a, for real. It's a side of her being that married you don't to know. a serial killer. I, I, and sometimes I agree that with you. the sometimes psychological that, shit behind it. Like you, I'm not judging you serial kill somebody. All the way on. Sometimes that turns a nigga on. Some niggas oh, get yeah, if you that dude, if you yeah, if you, you that dude, saying? that that turns you on. Your girl cool, getting yeah. drunk. Your girl getting drunk, and she turning up. You never seen your girl like, I don't like that, that until she got drunk, drunk. <laughs> I, I'm turned off. <laughs> I don't like that shit. You don't take it as like an opportunity. Like, never, oh, nigga. What? You acting like that? That's how you act? No, I'm turned off, nigga. That's crazy. I don't like about Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, we gotta call Honestly, it what it is. No, I'm good with what you're saying, about, but we gotta call it what it is. I'm very serious. Listen, I'm insecurity. so serious that my wife. Wait, my wife, that's insecure. That's insecure. I have an it's issue with insecure. my wife. It's insecure to see another side of your partner and be like, I'm. And be judgy about it. Yeah, like that's insecure. I'm judgy. All right, I'm arguing. Yeah, no. This one I'm arguing. That's insecure. You got me out. You heard what he said? I'm just asking. annoyed. Look, no, I'm not, talking, I'm not talking about that, though. Uh, He's not talking about that. He I'm not saying, talking I'm, talking, about, I'm not, 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 I'm saying your girl gets drunk and she sexually turns into a different person. He's saying he like, yo, you act but like you didn't that. Say, you didn't say that yes, though. That's what I, I didn't even saying. care if he did say that. So he's fighting. insecure no, he for sexual. knowing that oh. and not wanting his partner to engage that way while he's not present. And the, no, Wait, that's I'm not what we're about fighting. What we're saying is that the the thought of her doing the 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 sight of her doing that makes you feel away. Like if she's doing that in front of you, because now she's acting different. If that makes you feel oh. away, it's insecurity. It's insecurity. Oh, okay. It's insecurity. It's yeah. insecurity. Like if you see your, if you got your girl with another girl and she start doing some shit that she's never done with you, my first thought gonna be like, oh damn, like I want to do that with her now. Like that's gonna be my question. first. And the most insecure. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Like, bitch, where you learned that from? Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Your wife, your your girl starts sucking your dick different, doing tricks that she never did. You ain't you ain't you ain't see no porno cause that shit you ain't see no porno watching no none of that nigga out of nowhere nigga you been fuck up for for like let's say five years six okay. years okay. and she come out of nowhere she start doing ill shit out of nowhere you not gonna question like what you learned that for you never asking that because no. if you ask that you're being I'm asking you if you if she just come home one day 
Start doing ill ass tricks. Next you lift your leg. Don't give no nothing by no time answer. No, I got it. My are girl, you go? Sh- are you go? Listen, I can answer you. But you about to you about to answer it like political. Like my girl watches this, so she would get it from me. Just say she didn't watch it. If I knew that my girl didn't consume no other sexual shit, yeah, it's gonna question you. Would like, that make where you this bitch learn this? All right. Would that make you insecure? Ish. No, but I, I know my girl watch porn. <laughs> And not just that, her okay. girlfriends okay. in that group chat that's nasty as shit. Your girlfriend can't and show they sitting there yeah. talking about shit that they did. Talking about it, talking about it, talking about it, talking about it, talking show you how yeah. to suck the dick, my nigga. Stop that. <laughs> that is Stop the, that. Nigga, are you talking about it? Y'all just chatting shit. The group chat shit. is the worst, is the nasty shit. Show you how to suck the dick, sick. I want to. I want. I'm with you. I want to throw something at this nigga. Throw something. Yeah. I don't have nothing. Yeah. I, 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 your girlfriend can't tell you how to wring the towel out. Yeah. You got to get some practice yeah. on wringing that the towel. That group chat can say whatever. Put pictures. Is PowerPoint. Some pre- some new shit on you. Is that what you call it? And then start feeling like she's Stop a professional. It. I didn't say that. I'm just saying. Like, like, like she, that don't happen. Yeah. That ain't happen. Like she yeah. dropping forty at the rock. That ain't happen. <laughs> <laughs> she got. She step back some other time. What? Where these new moves from? <laughs> Did you guys know that sometimes women go to like classes, s- yes. classes yes. and I'm seminars? Oh, wait, 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 I, said, I interviewed one of those women. I said, God love you. You said, she does? Yes. Oh, that's when the house moms stay late. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Pay, All right, after pay, y'all count up, y'all, he pay, he pay y'all, extra. y'all come on back here. <laughs> Hurry up. Hey. Hurry up. <laughs> Yo, we going fun. to hell, but at least we'll be together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going with y'all niggas. <laughs> No, nah, yeah. it's gonna be a few niggas I know in the hell in the hell bullpen. <laughs> in the hell bullpen. She started doing the Gok Gok seven thousand, nigga. You ain't gonna be like, oh, hold the fuck on. Yeah. I'm gonna like, hold up. Hold up. Yes. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. respect. Okay. Absolutely. I think Flip got y'all, but I agreed with you. I just feel I just like like yes. his example is extreme because I'm I'm like like how do I know she didn't learn that from somewhere else? Like you saying it like in a hypothetical world Nick, how does he know in y'all example? How does he know that her turning up this way, how do I know that she don't turn up this way Let me ask you somewhere question. where it's unsafe? Let me ask you another question. And this is a real example. This is real life. You meet a girl. That's your representative, right? She meets you. That's her representative. Mm-hmm. Boom. You are saying, yo, I don't like this, 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 and this. You don't know your girl was the hoe of Minnesota. All the Vikings, the Timberwolves, the Twins, them pop your chick. True. She's now going to represent herself based on what you told her you like. Your, your girl gets busy. She tapering herself off for you because she don't want to be judged by a nigga that she loves, that she fell in love with. She's hiding who's a part of herself. And she don't want Minnesota to be on the no-fly zone list. That too. <laughs> <laughs> That's that serial killer shit. No, man. no, I'm dead ass serious. This happens, nigga. And so it does. It does. And so now she get drunk. Feeling it, y'all in Turks, you busting her ass on the balcony, and the other Minnesota facts come out. And she start wilding. She knows how to do other shit. Dog, a lot of these women, and that's why in real relationships, the guy and the girl have better communication, better sex, better relations with the side person because they don't got to worry about the judgment. I could be totally free when I'm fucking with the side chick. I could be totally free when I'm fucking with the side dude. I could let all of me come out. I could tell that nigga to spin me around, put his thumb in my ass, twist me upside down, do all that shit, and go back and be conservative Jane to my husband. That's real. He (laughs) right. You disagree with that? No, I don't. Oh, I agree 100%. Yeah, that's like man, fun. he's stupid. I love that. That's a whole wow. shit. This for us that's fucking. <laughs> really bad. I love that. Yeah. That was funny, yeah, sir. I can't have big man. What's so up? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love what you do. You're like, you see, what you surprised? You make this little droopy face, right? Yeah. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, shit. Yeah, she be so crazy, sir. Oh, my God. Okay. That's literally what happens. Like, yo, dog, I could just be me. I could talk to him. I don't got to worry about him getting mad at me. I don't got to... You know what I'm saying? That happens. Yeah. Well, some niggas fall in love with the side piece. Yes, they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We bringing somebody to Turks. 
I ain't playing. <laughs> y'all jumping, bitches, right? Y'all, y'all, y'all jumping. I'm a weirdo, so it's not going to go like that. Oh, you're not going to jump them. You want to let them just get their nah, shit on? they ain't tricking me. Ain't tricking you, ain't, you ain't jumping in? I don't know. Y'all do what y'all doing. Something's up with you. I'm going to get down to the bottom of your sickness, thing. I'm weird. <laughs> I'm an imagery guy. Like, I like to imagine it. You like the you like the art you like the art you like the art sex when that and when that image get too vivid and they got good paint brushes I'm gonna come in them <laughs> what the fuck you talking about no yeah, there's no way you not wait wait you wait wait you can no no wait, 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 jack what wait what oh uh, three falls forget it this is <laughs> I can hear his brain though. <laughs> he can't. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. He, 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 he just like, I can't do this shit. Yeah. What? <laughs> this entire conversation is crazy. It's just gay. <laughs> it's gay. To- it's not, it's not, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not gay to watch your girl. No, 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 no. I'm just saying it's this conversation. Gay. I don't think it's gay. Uh, no, it's not gay watching your girl. No. Uh, I think it's ill. But I want to join, nigga. This nigga told me he don't want to join. He didn't sit there and go. <laughs> and, be, and be cool. You go to sleep. When y'all finish, I'll go and fuck my girl. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's crazy. We'll, we'll see you, we'll see you in the morning. Some, he got some eyes wide shut yeah. shit. What is the password? <laughs> I'm going to see you in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to be sleeping. You jumping in right, Itch? Absolutely. Talk about it, man. Yeah, they can keep going when I'm done. <laughs> I mean, I, I watch. Though. Ice, jumping in? I might not jump in it every day, but. You're not jumping in either? You're going to get I don't know. It's it a two on one fast depends. break. It's going to happen depends. somewhere. I'm getting a layup. Wait, I <laughs> you crazy? It really, it really depends. I'll right. just, I'll I, li- I like I like yeah. the depends. Yeah. Oh, shit. I like Big the ice. depends. Let me can I can I throw in a variable and see how I, and see you guys' response I'm about to that. To crack you with this bot, with this, this cup. I already <laughs> know. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's your variable? You don't know the variable. How do you feel if the girl is your girl's friend? Got to oh. chill out. Oh, got to chill shit. out. No, not me. <laughs> Like, this is the thing. It, depend, it depends on how close they are. It depends on how close they are. My mom ain't about what you're trying to do to me. My mom would go a little crazy. Because yeah. now I'm going to think y'all bitches did this before. I don't about to think. Without See, me. That's the insecurity. That's, that's not insecure. That's that so is. what if they did it before? Words. Without me. No, nigga. Without me. Yes. No, no. Listen, listen. What you mean? Because I didn't know. See, a lot of times when you introduce somebody, you introduce them, oh, this is my friend. You don't know I all do the agree details. With the I don't know. know part. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, yeah. If I knew, yeah. I'm fine. If I, I knew before, I don't care. Yeah. Cause that's the person that you may be comfortable with. Yeah. That goes back to the It's about being honest. Yeah. That goes back to the representative. I know you're not gonna be comfortable with me having fucked Sharon. Me and Sharon haven't fucked in three, four, five years. That's just my homegirl now. So instead of fucking up home, I'ma just lie about it. So you be, you believe Sharon. that she, you be, you believe in the fact that she's okay you, you okay with her omitting that. You okay with her introducing you to Sharon. You guys are like five, six years strong. She not fucking Sharon no more. But Sharon you don't feel, is my I'm asking you, you don't feel I like would she's... never ask her if she fucked Sharon ever. Okay. But if the, if the situation now presented itself and we in Turks and her and Sharon present the shit, everybody having a ball, boom, 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 her and Sharon start fucking, <laughs> Sharon is getting her head knocked off. Just... <laughs> yeah, no. Because yeah, gotta be a... careful with that. How no, close yeah. is Sharon? This is my thing with that, right? My girl, that's my girl's friend. Uh huh. My girl is the comfort person. Uh huh. So if my girl is allowing it and is okay with it, my girl has now given me the check mark to fuck with Shorty. Yeah, but you mm-hmm. gotta be careful. That. That's going. That could go way could left. Go way left. Like, like, Yo, your analogy is fire. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, I ain't gonna lie. So you be bogged out. That shit could go left though. My yeah. girl is. No, that's all I'm that's saying. your girl's friend. It, it, depend, it depending on how it close could. they are. Though, you know, it could also disrupt your home, though, because then now your girl hey, might be, talk your, about it. Yeah, your girl might be feeling like, oh, why did like, you bust Sharon's ass? Yeah, like, like why you fuck Sharon like that? Because you, you told me to. Or like, so you must have wanted to fuck Sharon a long time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. You was in this that's a little movie track. Talk about it. Yeah. I said it depends on how close they are. Because if Sharon is always around, then I'm cool. But yo, 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 you good? We went to the class, man. We had. You okay? I'm okay. You sure? You, 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 you doing this? Like yo, dog. She I'm gave like, you the okay and the green light to fuck with Sharon. Our relationship, she's not and okay. our communication should be good enough. Where if you didn't feel comfortable with me fucking with Sharon, she's not. So then you could never alone allow Sharon to drop 
something off at the crib when you by yourself. You could never say, yo, ask Sharon to do that for me or meet me here and bring I, something for me. I it, that, all that shit ends. I disagree. You speaking think, like in a perfect world. You speaking like a perfect world. I think that's Pimp a... Pimp hand is strong. Women are, women are too... Let me ask you this right off for that. Let me ask you a question. All right, we here. Let me ask you a question. Do any... I can't ask you this question. No, I can't ask you. I can ask them. I can't ask you. I can ask them. So if you know your girl used to fuck with a dude, or you know your girl used to fuck with a dude, just ever in the past, mm -hmm. right? Oh, my and girl don't have a past, but go ahead. She just was born keep, yesterday, keep going, yeah. right? <laughs> or Mel, you know your dude used to fuck with a chick. Mm -hmm. Or a potential dude. But they just cool now. They might work together, right? They might work together. <laughs> This nigga play too much, man. Dude. That was funny. I don't care. That was funny. Uh, <laughs> right? They just, they just cool. They, they, they just cool. They ain't fuck with each other in five, six, seven years. Mm -hmm. That your, your, your dude can't ever be alone with that chick? I feel like we had this conversation last week. Yes or no, Mel? Well, have it on the pod now. No. Oh, sure. Not where. <laughs> where are they alone at? I'm not talking about no intimate setting. I'm saying like they work together. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Feel like in the daytime. <laughs> That's fine with that. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Right. So that's what Flip's yeah. saying, like, yo, she can't okay. never come to your house to bring no... No, I'm just saying, I, I don't you think your girl would allow that, though. If you bust Sharon's ass... In front name. of your girl. In yeah. front of your girl. That part matters. I, 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 Listen, open. Sharon, I don't... Yeah. I'm, I'm not replying <laughs> to what you're saying Scratching your back and all that. That's one scenario. You can't think of any other scenario that would provide you with pause in that? I think of most of the scenarios. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, not, I'm not a dodo. I just think that some of these. What things if you What if you find out in that scenario that your girl's not the leader of the friend group? <laughs> I don't care about mm. that. Yeah, that only really matters. Me. You definitely matters. Yeah. Why? Def She's the follower. Because Wait, what? the leader of the friend group tends to be the person that sets the tone. Talk about for it. That's the, the one that's calling the shots. Yes. That's the one that's most Absolutely. influential. That's yes. the one that can get the group to nay, Yo, yay, and, or nay. And all of us in this room. That is the one. Stop acting like that don't matter, Ice, because you know we got female homegirls that are the Ice leader of the friend matter. group that throw alley oops like Chris Paul. Absolutely. Ice, right, you saying it don't matter? I it's tough. It don't, it's I'm tough saying it don't, it don't matter if she's not the leader of the friend group. Shit. To me, I'm saying in yes, the, we in do. The, in, the, in the scenario we are discussing, of you busting of her homegirl and her and her, yeah, yeah, and her, and now her homegirl is the leader of the friend group. That means her homegirl oh, now no, could be like, oh, I fucked your man. Yeah, I want yeah, you to yeah, fuck no. my man. No, oh, now I want your girl. Home girl. We doing this over here with this other nigga that I fuck with named Rashid. Yeah, homegirl could do that anything at that point. Left. No, that, I thought you were just saying in general. Oh, that, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. It's, it's, it's tough for me because I've never been cheated on. So, like, my, my secure levels is different. Like, to my knowledge. Like, so that wouldn't bother me. Like, I, I don't, I, I've never been with somebody that's cheated on well, me. That's so. not going to bother you. You you black out. Oh, no. Oh no, this is a lot. <laughs> yo, yo. Nah, that's fucked up. Stop. Say, yo, make, make it, yo, yo, keep that in. Making fun of my vice. Keep that in. in. Yo, keep that, yo, keep that in. I'm sorry. This is my man. That's why I'm saying like that. But, but no, okay. wouldn't, that wouldn't bother me though. Because I, I, I have like, by the time I get with a girl, I have ultimate security that she's not going to do nothing like that. I have ultimate security. I feel like that. You too. put it through a lot of tests. I feel like that. I do. I, I don't just. I don't jump in relationships fast like that. Like, and one thing, one thing in a talking stage can completely. I'd be like, oh, I'll never be with you. Yeah. It could be a small thing. Like, I was it talking to a girl one small. time, and she just, like, we was just in the dating phase, and she was mad at me one night, and so she was like, oh, I'm about to go uh, with my homegirl to a restaurant, and I found out she was on a date. Cool. We're not fucking around no more. And it don't got nothing to do with because we wasn't committed. But, but we still cool. Yeah. Yeah. We still cool. But I, I the, fact that, you, you the fact that you lied to me, like, mm -hmm. and we're not even dating, like, we're not even we didn't exclusive. Get that part yet. You not already lying? You. So yeah. I got a very, like, strict, like, like you know. Low tolerance level. Low tolerance shit. in the dating stage. Yeah. Once we get in a relationship, you know, thing, but in the dating stage, I have a very, very low tolerance for everything. Yeah. For everything. One little thing, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not fucking with her. So, luckily, because of that, I've never. I know. I know. Her. I know. Go but ahead and say it. Whatever. What I miss? I. We're here. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> and they get on me about this shit. My lo yeah. my tolerance level is extremely low, and I and sure. you and I see signs. I see very clear signs on very small things. Mm. Yeah, one thousand percent. I saw the sign. Mm -hmm. Sing it. Open up my eyes. There go. Yeah, there man. Hey, there we go. You did it right. <laughs> <laughs> you did that to a T. Hey, one thousand <laughs> percent. 
No follow up questions. <laughs> I no. agreed. I was there with her. Nah, I you did it right, right. You was there. You was there. What we got to it? What we do to a T? What what you do to a T that we be doing? What happened? I'll do it. Come on. <laughs> what you mean? Tell us more. Expound on that. This motherfucker says that I date through my trauma. My response is to my low tolerance level is a, is is basically a response to my trauma, and I'm like. That only depends on what your low tolerance thing is, in my opinion. Can I, uh, can I get a hall pass to go to the bathroom? <laughs> no. No. No, they can't. Yeah, they can't. Like, I, look, I've got to go to the bathroom. Yeah, a little right UTI, man. No, I don't got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I just want to walk out of the conversation. But why? I want to go down the hall. <laughs> I need to make a phone call, no, a principal just, call. Same. And no, no, yeah, no. work. No, just sit there. But yeah, I think it depends on what, what those traumas are. I'll like, give you an example. Yeah. Okay, because you weren't here. Mm-hmm. So I went on a date recently, right? Mm-hmm. And um, the date was for seven o'clock. Around five thirty, I text him to say, "Hey, I'm probably I'm going to be late by about maybe fifteen minutes or something like that." This is an hour and a half before the date. He hadn't even left the house yet. Yeah. And he says, "Okay." And I thought to myself because I just thought to myself, I was like, "I bet you anything he brings this up that I was late, even though I gave him the consideration of advance notice." Mm-hmm. And he did. And that. In addition to a couple of other things, just let me know. I was just like, this is just the first date, and you have you you nitpick. And you already holding me accountable. No, and <laughs> how is how is the? But but let me give let me give you mm-hmm. let me give you a, a like a a different scenario. He could that could be for him, and I don't know how he brought it up, but that could be for him like an icebreaker. Like, oh, I'm a joke with her about that. Because it's just a way to have conversations. Some men aren't as good at with like conversations, so they like they put a pin in it. Like, oh, I'm a joke with her about that on the date, or I'm gonna bring that up just as like a joke. Like, it didn't work. No, yeah. <laughs> and then clearly, it didn't work. But it really I'm just saying, work. like, it, it might be something like that. Like, I'm with you as far as like the tolerance thing, but something like that, I do feel like it could have been. There was, some, but in addition, yeah. in addition to that, he Take also it a step further. he also yeah. made comments about my inconsistency with texting and shit like that. Keep in mind, this is our first date. Yeah. I don't know you. You definitely don't know me. I feel you on that. You that, don't know that's my... A, that's a flag for me, too, so I'm yeah. with you on that. It was, you on that. To me, I, I was just like, Ish. oh, you're yeah. going to be... A, you, you, got, you got control issues. Ish? Potentially. So you had your hand up. You had something you wanted to say? <laughs> Wait, he had control issue? Yo, that's wrong. So let me let me ask you this. I'm gonna say this because they say that we dog power you, and I don't want to do that. I ain't saying nothing about it. Right? I ain't saying a word. You just said you started this conversation off with you have a low tolerance for certain things. Uh, Mm -hmm. You don't got them started now. It's on. Stop, Joe. (laughs) So could it be that the man had low tolerance for your inconsistencies? Could he also be? having low tolerance for your tardiness on the first date. Is that the full stop? <laughs> oh, shit. No, that's just a warm-up. <laughs> Mel, if you let this nigga get over foul shots. Mel, turn up. Is that a possibility? Because a lot of people view time differently. Yo. I'm shitty with time, mm-hmm. right? I'm always late. We all know. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm late a lot, and I'm really, really, really bad with time. Mm-hmm. And I dated a woman one time that was really, really busy, and she was like, ish. Time is something that we can't get back. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yo, like she had to get a babysitter. And I'm like, yo, I'll pay the babysitter. She's like, fam, you not getting it. It's not about the money. It's about my time that I can never get back. And you are really wasting it. Not even cognizant about wasting my time. So this was a, this was yeah. a, this was consistent. You had been no, it, you had I been late a couple of I times. I did it like twice, but okay. You about to look for the out? I'm no, I'm not. No, there, no. There, there's a there's a there's a. Hold on, a, I shit off. Let's hear. Okay. No, in your low tolerance statement, could my man have had low tolerance and just brought it to your attention that he might like promptness or he might like consistency to make this relationship potentially go further? Okay. No. Because here's the thing. One, I am extremely punctual. Extremely. He don't know you. No, no, no. Oh, just hold on one second. I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> I'm, just one second. I'm talking about myself. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely punctual. And if I'm not, if I know that I'm going to be late, I let you know well in advance so that if there's any preparation you need to make because of that lateness, then you have that advance notice. I'm not calling you on the way. Oh, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm running late. I'm not doing that. I'm giving you advance notice. For somebody who's extremely punctual, I really appreciate that advance I notice. If this, if this is so to me, if this is going to be a thing, Hey, no problem. If you're right, if that's his low tolerance level, then you, I've clearly established 
we are not meant compatible. to have we're That's what we I was are gonna, not I was compatible. Say, yeah, two things can be right. Yeah. Two things can be there true. And so yeah. and so I was ready to establish we lack compatibility immediately. True. That was what I established. Yeah. A lack of compatibility True. immediately. But but I will say just to like like hold the accountability like that that's what <laughs> that's what Ish was saying. Mm -hmm. And you found a way to like say it to where it's like your choice instead of like like you were both wrong. But did you did you did you get your, did you turn yourself sure. off from the situation? You know, how old are you? Thirty two. <laughs> did you turn your, <laughs> man, did you turn yourself yeah, well, off from the situation because you didn't want to face the fact that you was being checked for being No, I you know? I truly do not understand. We are literally speaking another language. Okay. You guys are, I'm, I'm, this is Swahili. I do not understand okay. what you guys are saying. Can I ask you one so, question? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. She don't understand. Please finish. let her finish. I'm going to ask you this before we reply. Okay. I'm sorry. To me, literally, if you ask anybody who is, where time management is a is a is a priority it is a thing it's a deal breaker if you ask them where is, where what's the concession they say give me some advance notice I agree. That's be, true. be apologetic that and give me some advance notice right That's true. and then yeah. it basically wipes the board clean true. Unless, I did, unless it's repetitive I, yeah. I did that that is true and it's like it's literally so it's like it seems like it's the one it's the thing you guys keep harping on I'm like but I, re I it was two things. I did the we thing. Talk, we talked about your inconsistency with regards. But, but to But hold on one second here. I don't know you, and you don't you know. Oh, wait, wait, and so on. And you don't know me. You don't know my life. You don't know. So here's the thing. Check this out. Sometimes he texts me when I'm here, and I'm doing this, and I don't need to answer anybody while I'm here. Maybe I'm answering some business because it's my priority. But I don't know him, so he's not my priority. True. What the fuck? I don't know him. Right. Therefore, and here's the thing. I also should not be his priority. Why? How have I established I'm a priority? Bro, you're in the video, Vixen Hall of Fame. Stop. It. <laughs> yeah, you no. Uh, no, 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 no. He acted like no, no, no. Hold you on. Are in it. Stop that. The but conversation didn't start from that. Yes, the <laughs> conversation started <laughs> about <laughs> other people's tolerance levels. <laughs> and stupid. Mel looked at um, Ice and was like, "Aha! Like I got y'all niggas because I had low tolerance for what Homeboy was doing." So my point was, maybe he had a low tolerance for what. Yeah, you we're, not, was, we're not saying that you're wrong. No, it was literally like way, Ice yeah. looked at me and I, and it was like, "Uh huh, uh huh." Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I got a question. Yeah. Hey, guys. Because we've established this in this conversation before that you wasn't even into this dude. So with I that... I didn't want to bring, bring, wanna bring that part up because so I wasn't going to expose that, off, I was about, of, off of camera topics, but yes, Ice. What I was so gonna say, well, hold on. Yeah, so I'm with you that. not being into this dude, the scale for him to fuck up it's high. Anything you do, it's I'm high. looking for a reason to get you out of here. Anyway. And, and hold wait, on. Wait, wait, real, quick before, real quick before you respond, and that's that is that's the point that I was getting to with accountability. Instead of you saying I'm inconsistent with texting because I'm not into him, you said I got a bunch of shit going on. When the truth is that you're inconsistent because you just don't like the nigga. Yes. I feel like those are two mutually exclusive, um, you know, situations. Both can be true at the same time. <laughs> That's cap, man. When a woman like a nigga, when a woman like a nigga, no, she's available. Damn, How many man. times you done been dealing with a woman that's not into you? Man, what, you fuck I, her real good, and all of a sudden she got work? all the time in the world. Dog, in the she be married does with this kids. Shit oh, work? Still Who you got talk time. to, nigga? That, that, that be the part. Work. That be the part of the. She talking to some geek I, niggas. I be yeah. talking about like you talk to niggas that do yoga four to, four o'clock no, in the morning, like, nigga, by gotta, themselves. We gotta start being truthful about the accountability part of it. Talk your shit, Reese. Like for real, Reese. Here's this. Here's look. Here's ain't no real nigga dealing with that, man. Calm, calm down, calm down. Oh shit, you coming on me? You didn't even let okay, him listen, finish. Here's, here's the stitch, right? You didn't okay. Even let him go. There's a thing. There's a thing. It's called casually dating. Okay, you're just casually dating. Yeah, oh, we about to cook. This you don't cook. really have. Wait, what is that for the audience that doesn't know what that means? Casually dating is you really don't have any expectations. You're not rushing to find a relationship. You're just. You're kind of like. You know, seeing what you do want, what you don't want, and you kind of establish what you don't want by dating a lot of don't wants, but you can't mm -hmm. find out it's a don't want until, until you, you go out, out with them and you're like, oh, fuck that shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's so it's just kind of like a casually Wait, dating. We're letting that renege rule fly? This <laughs> shit? No, I'm not. I'm letting her finish. Women can let her finish, Joe. Let her finish, gotta, finish yeah, Joseph. I, I, I got to say my part. I'm just, I'm letting her finish. Go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry, I, man. It's okay. So it's just like there's a thing like, you know, kind of casually dating. There's been plenty of times where I've, you know, gone out with somebody that I was like, you know, kind of like it mid on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they surprised me. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. You know, 
And then there's other times where I went out with somebody that I was like initially extremely impressed with and they turned out to be a fucking milk dud, you know? So it's just like, that's, I feel like that's how that situation kind of played out. And honestly, like, to go. <laughs> yeah. And with, when it came to the texting thing, some of the things that he said kind of put me on like a strange, like a little bit of like an alert that just made me like not feel like I wanted to respond, you know, kind of right away or feel any urgency to respond. I just think that like you just got to call it what it like. It just really comes down to you just didn't like the nigga. And that's OK. That's that's the part that it's like. Like, when you're dealing with a woman, it's like she'll give you every other reason for why she did something Except besides the truth. Besides the fact that she just did, like, yeah. I, I didn't like you enough to to respond. I didn't like you enough to be on time. I didn't, I'm not saying that that was, this time was that. Do you think but, that men are that truthful? I, yes. I think, oh my I think, God, I think, no, some, I think sometimes, I think I sometimes. Am. Yo, it don't matter but, what men but, are but doing. Wait, wait, Saying but, what women, wait, he's I, I talking about to that. you about women. I was about to say that, but the difference is, the difference between men and women with that is that <laughs> men get held accountable for that. If a man does that, he's a fuck nigga. If a woman does it, it was I, was it was I was busy. I was busy. Or was you don't fault. know what I have going on in my life. Like, respectfully, it don't matter what you got going on in your life because if it was your dream, nigga, and he made the money Pat Mahomes made, you would respond. Regardless if it's Joe sitting next to you, you respond. And we, so we just got to be honest with the accountability part. And this is the thing. Is I'm not even saying you wrong. I'm not saying you wrong for not texting a nigga or being late because if you don't like the nigga, you have no obligation to text a nigga or be... I'm just saying just call it that. I, I see not, how you got your girl back, that. my nigga. No, I'm being dead. I see how you got your girl back, my thing. nigga. I do. Here's I the do. thing. That boy yeah. shop. So, that young yeah. boy shop. Yeah, 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 ain't no dummy. That boy shop. Yeah, 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 that boy shop. Two different guys, same scenario, same level or lack thereof interest. Mm -hmm. One guy brings up the, oh, well, the inconsistent texting, and the other guy doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The fact of the matter is, I texted the same way. Yeah. I just found it really fucking weird to bring it up. And it's nothing wrong with you finding it weird you know to saying? bring it up. That, yeah. that, that, I, I, that's that's really what true. it yeah, is. True. Is I'm, that I'm with you it was on, fucking weird. I, and I'm completely with you Go on ahead that. Ish. No, no, no. That, yeah. you, all that makes sense. Okay. Let me let me let's stay here. Same guy. Same um the, the same way you just did it. Mm. Same exact um scenario. Mm -hmm. But you was feeling one and you and the homeboy the nigga that you was feeling would have said, damn, dog, you got me sitting here 15 minutes. I'm looking at these other things in here, girl. You And made a funny joke. Ha, ha, ha. You laugh. Oh, yo, I'm, I'm tired. Of, yo, you dog, you got to start giving nigga a little bit more rhythm in the text message. Ha, ha, whatever the case may be. But you was feeling him. You don't look at what he's saying the same way you look at the nigga that you wasn't feeling. What's the fact? Him. What's the fact? Can I be honest? That would turn me off. Oh, no. That would. Yeah, would, yeah I think she does. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that, that hold would. On, that, 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 <laughs> No, no, you could get turned. No, you could get turned off by that though. You can. Yeah. I'm not. That you could like somebody true, and they yeah. can keep Yo, talking. Nigga. Like, bitch, shut the yeah. fuck up. And, and, that would, yes. and that's the time yeah. when yeah. I. Like, that's the time where I super felt a guy, and then I went out with him, and I'm just like milk dud. Fuck that shit. Yeah. You know what I but, mean? But I, I think that. I think that his point is that there are certain things that niggas can get away with and People that'll let slide. Overlook. Yeah. Men, Joseph, women, overlook. boy, and Joseph, girl. That I've might let, not be it for you, but there is something that you. I've let girls that I really was trying to get with. Slide on some shit that I yeah. another chick. Nah, and I and I have, and I've definitely done the same thing. I have de definitely fine. dated walking sure. red flags that just fucking had me at hello. Right, right. Which means that your percent. tolerance right level right. Right ain't right. as high right. as you right. just tried to point it out. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Past tense. Past tense. Years ago. But sometimes if you get turned off and you, and you stick and you stick to the date, you, you can end up they, they can end up doing <laughs> <You> something. <just, laughs> Joe, she will duck the bullets. Go ahead. Nah, they can end up doing something. They can end up doing something to get you back, though. What? No, we. I just want to let the audience know and y'all. We had an episode speaking about this, the one that you and Flip weren't at, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Where we spoke on this. Mel intro the other pod for forty minutes where we spoke <laughs> on this. We've beaten us to that. I just want to let everyone know that we do have some repeat viewers. <laughs> that understand they could Ooh. damn near know what the homeboy had they, on at the table. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so if there's not like new date info, <laughs> then the guy that we didn't like, let's not keep shining light on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because there's a new person to ask their opinion. Yeah, yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> okay. It's cool. So, my bad. Yeah. My bad. Okay. So there's no more date info. Like I'm here for that when it's when it's the guy that you when it's the guy that you're into and the guy that you like and when you find that yeah. connection. I'm into that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait for that. Definitely. Holy shit, yo! I feel like I got the coat on. <laughs> I'm crying. Just turn it down a little bit. Like, but I'm uh, to start the, the conversation, though, I do agree with you. There's certain red flags that in the dating stage. I feel like that's how you find a better partner is if you are super strict with your red flags. Like, and that's how I've I've been. Like, whatever turn me off. I'll still keep dating you or fucking you or whatever we doing. I just I know it's not it's going nowhere. Yeah. She's, looking, yeah. she's, I know she's still looking for the knight in shining armor. Yeah, it's certain shit that you Wait, can never I be my girl though. Not true. It's certain shit that you could do or say where you have a snowball's chance in Haiti of being my girl. But I'll That's still fuck with you. You'll exactly. still be my nigga. We'll be cool. We can hang out. We can go to movies. We can fuck. We could do other shit. But you won't never get to that girlfriend level in that girlfriend status. Mm -hmm. Like I tell you, one of my red flags is like a girl that that. She tell me something that happened between her and her homegirl, and she cut her off for that, and it's a small thing. I'm not oh, fucking yeah, with her no more. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not fucking with her no more. Like, yeah, unselfish shit? I, like I, I, I watch. Like I'll try to mend the friendship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah. you sure you want to handle it? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not fucking with her no more. Because if you do that for that, like, imagine, like, that shit little. Yeah. I don't like that shit. And it's, and it's not even that, but to me, it's like that shows that you don't even know how to keep a relationship. Man, it shows and shows. You don't even know how to keep a relationship. Like, compassion is well. Yeah, like, you can't, you have no. You have a, a lower level of accountability because in that situation you don't think you did nothing wrong, mm -hmm. and then you don't know how to keep a relationship, and you don't communicate well because you don't even want to talk to her through it. So for me, mm -hmm. she come to me like such and such did blah blah blah. Like I'm not fucking with her no more, and she stand on that. Cool, I'm not fucking. Like, I, yeah. I can never, like, I, I can never date you. I'm big on accountability and I'm big on apologies. Say, yo, an apology is easy, dog. If you did some Very fuck easy. shit, say, yo, I fucked up. My bad. Mm -hmm. Just be like, y'all fucked up. You don't, you don't gotta deep dip apology. the jab. Yeah. yeah, you don't gotta do all that. You don't gotta make an excuse as to why you was wrong or put the blame on somebody else. Like, just say, yo, you're right. I fucked up. My bad. That I wasn't courteous. That was, you know what I'm saying? Some bullshit. My bad. And it's over. Accountability is big, dog. I, that shit is huge for me. When you find your potential love interest that you're clicking with, connected with, and want to continue to build with, where what will your stance be on? Uh, potential threesomes, him playing, you playing. Mm. What Good will question. your What will your stance be on that? Cuck holding. No, I don't. But nah, nah, because I'm, I'm not yeah, necessarily yeah, talking yeah, about like cuck holding. A serious conversation. Yeah. Mm, I feel like different people bring different things out of you. You know, that's true. That's um, true. and God, it's been so long uh, since I've been in a relationship. Um. <laughs> it's been so long. Sing it. Um, I'm definitely looking for the person that I can be embark on something special. No, no, no. To be embark. like, you know, no, 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 no. To be like, <laughs> gotta, gotta embark. Completely, like, you know, free to communicate, like who we really actually are. What you know what I mean? Boy, you she didn't say anything. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck is she talking about, Reed? Reading my mind. What is she saying? Oh, she didn't say a goddamn. Can you? Thing. What are you saying? She said nothing. Can nothing. you say something? <laughs> are you gonna do threesomes or not? <laughs> what the fuck is this gibberish? Communication. She brought up communication. I don't, let's just say I'm dating somebody, you know, and it's kind of getting serious. We're like a couple of months in. If he starts springing the whole threesome conversation on me, uh, it might be a little too soon. A couple for me, months in is serious. No, that conversation no that's what I mean. It's it's no. It's, it's like serious, man. what? That's not serious for a dude. No, I, and if he springs it, I'm like, you no. Know, I'm talking about in a relationship. We've established we're in a relationship. We okay, a, so y'all are. That's exclusive. we're in a relationship. That's what okay. he's asking. A year, eight we months. We committed. We exclusive. Yeah. We know what it is. All right. Yeah, we, come not, on. we may not be living together, yeah, you but you might is. have a key. Right. Mm -hmm. So just to be clear, like the seven, eight month mark is where you kind of like establish that, you know, you're that like. You can rummage through this stuff when it's at home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. The um, That's why I pulled eight months. Eight yeah. months was serious. So eight months is serious. We got eight months. OK. All right. I, I'm going to make a I'm going to circle the block in a second. But um, OK, so we're eight months, <laughs> we're, you know, eight months in and um, he brings. I think at that point it's still a little too soon to bring it to bring in I agree with that. that you okay. know it, 
Yeah. Where do Put you the time three wherever, years, wherever right? you have yeah. the time yes. on our <laughs> fucking audio <laughs> broadcast at three so and we half can years pre- in. We're a couple of years in. God yeah, we're, damn it. At that point, are you comfortable? <laughs> can you are guys you let her get it off? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> what was yeah. the question? You're right. <laughs> what you all right, no, all right. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm done. I'm, you got it. You got it. All right. I think that's a right. no. That was I great. That's a no. I think Mel will have a threesome. Oh, shit. Here's the thing. Right back in. I've never had one. They should have. I think, well, I think you would, Mel, though. If it, I've never had. You never had one. You said that, and you said you wasn't interested in one. Are you now changing your mind because something? No. I would just like to think. Stan came through with Shauna. Stop it. <laughs> I would they like two full, full no. Hand. I would like that would that I would think be amazing. Mel was cut four hands be wait, wait, oh, it would be amazing. Uh, okay, four handed massage. Yes. Anyways, no, we're getting off topic. A uh, topic. Okay, I would like to think that if I love somebody and care about them, and this was something that they wanted to do with me, that I would be game for it. You, if me. I trusted them, nice. like, trust is the is, there is we the go. operative Thank word you. here. Big Mel. Okay, so bored to that's it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's major for me to even say that. Yeah. And his cappuccino. Had... I think I think she and she, his cappuccino. She gives like half three some vibes. Like you wouldn't need no pussy. No. Yeah, no. that's what I'm saying. Pillow princess vibe. You know, yeah, I'm like yeah, like you, like you. I, I think that you would have a threesome if it was the right dude that you trusted, but you would have a half threesome. Like you would lay there and have to be kind of like catered to. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. I could see that. I would also yeah. ask him if it would be okay. Like, okay, so we have a threesome with a girl. Can we have a threesome with another guy? Oh, you took oh. the no, question you from you, me. That's just your you way. took the that's question that. right out of my yeah. mouth. Right. In your potential threesome, which would you prefer? <laughs> Duh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Fucking two. You prefer two guys. Yeah, in my my two scenario. Guys, would you, would All you right. do that? Would you Ew. Do that? I'm just saying. Come on. Let's get <laughs> but see, I think that's kept. Like, would you do that? Would you? Would you go? Because like, like, if we speaking logically, you can go find two niggas that'll fuck you right now. You can go find that. So the fact that you but haven't does done trust them. Exactly, man, Reese. That's why you lost your fucking chain in the cab, nigga. <laughs> yeah, do you trust them? I, know, I, I, I thought about that. Y'all want your ass, does, nigga. Does she trust them? It's cap. That's just her way. That's what I women agree. use as like a, a way to back yeah, out of the question. Like they use that. Like because right, if you if you actually wanted to do that, you would have done it already. True. Like if I want some food, I'm gonna go get some fucking food. Like you don't want to have well, sex right. with two niggas they at once. They, they do use that. That's what they say. That's uh, the uh, I couldn't do it here. We need to go to the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. She's about, right she about to talk. She's about to talk. We need a vacation. Yeah, we we got to be out the country to do it. Yeah, She's about to get her shit off. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. One mic on Mel. So there's this one time. <laughs> oh, we got her. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you sick guy. <laughs> You're worse. No, it's, I swear. It's, yeah. um, I was dating this guy. Super fucking into him, you know? And he was like, I could just, I felt very comfortable with him. You know, I could Safe. be very honest. Um, did you trust him, girl? I Shut did, up, I, Joe. Trusted, I, I did, I trusted him. Okay. So, you know, the topic of threesomes came up. Shut Look at you, just fucking shit up. <laughs> Topics of threesomes came up, and um, and he asked me, like, you know, if I ever wanted to do a threesome, what did it look like? I was just like, well, it would be you and um, and your friend. Um, and I named him. That's crazy. Hey, That's yo. crazy. That's crazy. Oh, she almost man. done. She almost Keep done. On. That's fucking crazy. No, no, no. I got to hear what he did after this. <laughs> and he he smiled, actually. And, you know, he kind of chuckled. He was like, really? And I was like, yeah, he's really hot. And he was like. And he wasn't fucking with you no more after that. No, he He was. Just yeah, he was a like, out. He was, Yield it up. <laughs> Shut the, the, the fuck up. <laughs> you are right, though. I did back oh, out. Oh, I did, oh, I did back oh out of it. Oh, my God. They I will did, never <laughs> shut the fuck up. I did back out of it. Because he was like, do you want me to set that up? And then I was just, I was terrified that I would actually have to follow through. <laughs> How long y'all was together for? You and the nigga. Um, we were together for like a year. Eight months. Oh, so <laughs> oh man, yo! I can hear the redditors now. That's why I don't have any follow up questions. <laughs> I'm chilling. I I believe you and could see how I could see why that you've never had the threesome now after listening to your story and you share. It's all about communication first. And trust, and it's all about not eight months a year. <laughs> Is it eight months a year? When does the relationship become serious? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just ask you one follow-up question? Sure. You, you still think you're the fun girl? <laughs> oh, shit. 
Listen, okay? with, all, with all due respect, but you're not the fun girl. Oh man, you're not. <laughs> and you seem really, really sweet. And you like Thank you're you. you're you're definitely the woman that is like you know you're the. the I think Mel is the fun. The one that you bring home. No, if you can't even imagine <laughs> having a. Show ass up, Reese. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't I, even oh, Reese, I was about to say ish. <laughs> it stopped you. I think Mel is the fun girl. Oh, oh yeah, but ish, shut your ass up, Reese. I know. I think Mel be sitting up here capping. I think oh, well, so yeah, well, duh. Well, duh. We are on a fucking gotcha. a podcast with yeah. millions and millions and millions of people that. watch. If you're telling Mel the truth. Mel can't come yeah. up here and be Mel Ford talk about and it. talk about, yeah, I fucked these two, two niggas one time, or I had a threesome over here in Bali. I can't do that oh, on the podcast. Shit, well, well, what I'm going to do <laughs> well, is I believe Mel, but I receive what you're saying. Yeah, I believe women when they talk. I'm gonna. Okay. I believe Mel about her pussy before ish, but <laughs> I re- but I receive what. <laughs> nah, dead ass. Yo, yeah. <laughs> we receive. But I receive him, right? I know. I'm, I'm open. Michael Remain Irvin. teachable. Michael Irvin. <laughs> Stop, Hopkins. I know. The best of them. <laughs> oh, oh, Joe Dell. What do you What do you think about what ish said? And then I promise and you go home after that. You. <laughs> you, you go home. After. I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm done. I could see why you'd say that. You received that, right? <laughs> I could. Yep, yeah, I received that. Mm-hmm. Got it. Do you yeah. respect it? I mean, you know, Salute. I get it. I get it. Oh, I get it. Do you think you would be bold enough to try that move again, where you tell a potential love interest that you would like to get popped by him and his friend? <laughs> That's crazy. That is, this that is, is the problem. Is, that is so no, the problem crazy. is, the remember the Joe red flag is so about? fucked up. No, and now it's no, like, yo, no. You it sounded, get by it sounded crazy man. when it she said that. It sounded crazy when she said that was yeah, one of the red flags. And I was talking about that. I can't fuck with it no more. That was foul. That was my nice way of saying it. No pop. You know. pop. Telling me that, but you I can know, say that because she, she, said, that she presented yeah. it to him. She didn't say pop. She said I she thought said, about it and said you and your friend. Yo, you an old boy. She treated because those because men like possessions, <laughs> <laughs> can, objectifying them. She did. I said you and your homeboy boy because he's hot. You and your homeboy is crazy. Any type of way you say it, pop me. Yeah, it don't matter. Still crazy. Would you present that that again to a potential love interest? No. No, I would you not. That no, no, that you would, you would that was a like, long time ago. You can't have two conversations. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. They're talking now. My bad. Let's see what they say. No, okay. no, 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 no. That would, that would, I would not present okay. that. Option. I believe that. No, no, I believe that. Once that was is a enough. really Once long is time ago. She grew, she grew from that. I grew Once from that. I didn't. That yeah. was living on the edge. Watch a lot of phone now, and you just get it all out. Let me ask. All right, all right, hold on. Let me ask y'all a question now. Bring that down. Everybody in the series committed long-term relationship and if you pose that to her and she say I want to yeah you and your homeboy what's your response we got a problem okay what's that nigga name what, what, I think that if <laughs> I was my, my current Sorry. girlfriend today if I was dating my girlfriend and we were one year in and she said that it would be totally different than if we are where we are today one year for most men is not a long time we are I'm just losing my other hoes Eight months, <coughs> nine, ten months in. I'm just starting to tell girls, listen, I'm, doing, I'm doing this over here. Yeah. So again, for Mel, like me and Mel, when we had the conversation before um, with, with Homeboy from London, mm-hmm. and I was saying, Mel, homeboy seven months me. for most men is not a long mm-hmm. time. He still and you were arguing right, with right. that. And I was like, yo, because dog. Because you guys totally generalized. I'm, that's what we're doing. Yeah, I know you're we're saying most men, yeah. but you never, you, because that conversation excluded any chance that he was as into it and committed as I, and exclusive as I was. Okay. That's and, what it, and that's that what a, it. That's a sore subject. Let's not I know. Go that's there. why I'm trying to <laughs> please. It, right. So what I'm saying is this, in most instances, the, again, that, that seven to 10 month range you just really realizing, like, yo, she could be the one. Like, I could wife her. I could settle down with her. Women, I think, be more further along than we are. For in, sure. In, the, in that process. Mm-hmm. So within one <coughs> year, if, a, if the, my girl said, yo, yeah, you and your homeboy, he kind of he kind of fly. I, I fuck with his vibe. I would have I would have set that up for the weekend. But let me ask you this, though. Would it change you looking at her like, oh, that could be the one? Yeah. That's my whole point. Of course. Yeah, that was my whole point. So I'm saying, like, it's crazy, but Wait, it's like. Wait, what was your point? My, the point I was making is that she like she would have never been my long term. Like it would have been that. That's yeah. one of those that it's like now, been I'm, cool. now I'm not. I'm not yeah. fucking with you yeah. like that no more. Like because the whole goal for the woman is so that did, it can be. Did you something answer the question of how you receive it if you're not a year in? Yeah, I said no. 
No, he's saying if if you and if you and your girls well, were yeah, that right no, now. But so how no, did you? How no, did you? I, Ice asked me. He said, "Yo, I said, yo, we all in long term relationships. Everybody here. So if your girl came to you and said, I heard that part. I'm and, and I said, no, my girl now in the stage that we are would be no. But my girl in a year where Mel was with Homeboy, then my answer would be yes. Oh, I th- no, I thought you was about to expound on how Joe you Joe was saying, season. how did you, how did you? Yeah, like, yeah the yes, answer is yes, no. Said, but yes, the answer is no. But maybe the vibe like, is yeah. different now yeah. that you in your five year, six year relationship. I got a, a baby with maybe my now girl. Y'all can, I don't want my man Fucking my my baby mom. Would you take your, your real girlfriend out of this? <laughs> We're asking about us and our. No, yeah, I was asking about you and your life right now. Oh, for real? Like yeah, your real like, girl? Yeah. <laughs> I thought we was trying to hypothetical it out nah, for great content, why, con- no. pod content. No, that's what. Oh, you all right. <laughs> Do it that way. <laughs> Keep it real. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, I would, oh. But a year in is let me see you. If my girl, see if my girl out that I'm with for four or five years say that she want to smash my homie, like we got a problem. Yeah, like a yeah. Big, big, big problem. problem. A big I'm problem. Agree. I'm on the total opposite side of this. Really? Not just for podcast content. Like genuinely. Yeah, I, I want a relationship where my partner's free to be as expressive and share all of that wild shit. True, but that don't mean you have yeah, but to that don't receive mean shit change. how you receive it. I don't want that. I, I definitely you be feel, open. I'm don't open to communication, and I want my happen. girl to feel free oh, no, to that, communicate. That's, that's not what I'm addressing. But open with no, conditions, no, though. No, so I'm no. agreeing with you. I'm not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, change, with I'm not letting it happen. He just said that. But he I do want a relationship. I want to feel vulnerable and comfortable. And to what Mel was saying, I agree with her. Like, dog, a woman will do anything. Most women will do anything. It's the man that has to put you in a comfortable space Mm -hmm. of no judgment, vulnerability, trust, Trust. and protection that would make me do that that shit. And I take it a step further. I got to know that when this is over, you got me. (laughs) Even throughout the course of the whole ordeal, you got me. You thinking about me. You ain't just trying to get a nut and get your rocks off. Nigga, we doing this. This is a, a different... Deeper thing, you get what I'm saying? Yes. So I think no. a man could get a woman anywhere. <laughs> to take no. it a step further, <laughs> I don't get it. No, I don't get you. I don't get it. Maybe I'm not old enough. I don't get it. I don't what? get it. I don't get. You can any get type. a girl to do anything. No, I, I agree with that. Yes, I you don't. Can. No, I, I agree with that. I'm saying I don't understand any world where like what I'm trying to get her to do is like fuck another nigga that I know. Like that's no. I didn't say that. Uh, okay, I thought I said I a man it. could have a woman do anything. I agree with as that. As long mm-hmm. as they mentally, yeah, emotionally, feel spiritually that, yeah. feel protected, vulnerable, and you know what I'm saying? They'll do it. I agree yes. with that. Okay, so that's all you were saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm on board with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was saying something. <laughs> I'm, saying something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board with that. I agree with that. No, I, yeah. if, I were, if I were trying to do the same things that Adam22 was into, mm-hmm. then maybe I prefer it be my friend. Really? And I was about to maybe. say- Maybe. We joking on Adam. I don't think so. We laughing and we joking on Adam. Maybe. I, I'm with y'all. We joking. I'm talking about laughing. my real, fr- like a friend, like you're my right. best man yeah, at yeah. wedding. Like We laughing and joking at Adam, but think about I this. I think it'd be better being a stranger. Yeah, 1,000. My nigga, yeah. where Adam and his wife are. I, I don't know about it. All most yeah. people never ever I don't reach know that level. Way. Of compatibility. Exactly. Where Adam and his wife are as a relationship, again, we joking because it's podcast shit and it's TV fodder, but most people don't ever get to that place in their relationships. Like, they are don't. you guys, are you guys? Oh, like, in certain cultures, you know, in certain cultures, when the man die, like the brother marries the, the wife. Or the best man, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah the best, okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. yeah. Very like, true. Like, dog, Thank you. When, the, when them swinger niggas How would y'all be feel out? about that? I'm okay with it. If I'm, I'm okay dead. with it. If I'm dead, you okay? I don't you give okay. a fuck. I ain't here so no more. So you prefer what? Yeah, okay. if I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, if I'm dead. Dude, if I'm, I'm dead, about, dead, to, I'm about to get the water gun for y'all. But I'm, I was no, I'm dead ass. No, nah, but I will say this: it would, it would, it would bother me if I was dead. It would bother me if it was my twin brother. That's the only person that she couldn't be able to do it with. Really? One of my friends, she could do it. Yeah, my twin brother. Yeah, like, that might yeah. be some other. So are you guys? Are you guys secure enough in your relationships that if your that your girl could tell you that she finds a friend of yours? Attractive? Yes. 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 Yeah, 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 for sure. Absolutely. For sure. I've had girls be like, yo, such and such is you. <clears throat> yeah. But why would you say why would you say that right now at dinner? <laughs> <laughs> no, what you say? Wait, no. Come here. <laughs> say it again. No, say it again. Say it again. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Y'all gotta stop, yo. That shit funny, though. But it is funny, but it's wrong. It's wrong. Um, it's wrong. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, like, yeah, I, again, you can say yo, that a lot sure. of that shit got to do with security, yo. Because yeah. I damn sure at some point in the relationship told you about your friends such that I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Got such such I said it. Or such and yeah. such got a fat ass. Or, yeah. 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 You just can't say that you want to fuck them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's real. Yeah. I but, can't say that. And, and that's why you can't have the threesome with the friend, the best friend. But you guys don't automatically assume oh. that? What? Like, no. if, if a girl, if your girl says that she finds somebody attractive and he's a friend of yours, you don't automatically, like, a, like a little, like a little him? thing no. of no. doubt doesn't no. pop no. up in your head, like, no. we're dealing with adults, no. no. so no. finding somebody attractive Should, don't say don't that you, you want to fuck them, it's say that you got word. eyes and can recognize yeah. when a nigga's eye is. Yeah. Dog, I, I know my friends wrong with that. that's attractive, fuck. I know my niggas that's attractive. Like, yo, that nigga, yeah. girls love that nigga since we was knee high. Yeah. He got bitches. That nigga's cute. Okay. What you talking about? Like, I ain't, I'm not that. Okay, calm down. Like, that don't mean a girl. <laughs> and a girl, I think, I think that outside of that, like, yo, you stupid. Yo, outside of that, I think it should take more than just a physical, I think he's cute for you to want to fuck him. True. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talking about girls, though. Oh, since they want them some money. <laughs> some money, too. Throw that. Oh my God. Holy I shit. love a good gender war topic on this pod. Oh, yeah. if it's I feel bad if for Mel because she just right in one. it by herself. Like she's the only one. I don't feel bad. She slugs it though. I don't man. feel bad for her guy. because she has weapons that Facts. we don't have. Facts. That's very and she true. uses them. Yeah, and all she actually them. uses them like yeah. all of them she on this podcast. <laughs> It need to be 20 us. <laughs> that might, that might, that still, still might yeah. not even it out, though. Yeah. It might the not. fuck? That ain't going to be enough. That's funny. Oh, shit. I'll keep y'all posted about how the trip goes. But I ain't fucking two people. That's crazy. Yeah. I ain't got that in me. On vacation? I ain't, got, I ain't got that in me, dog. <laughs> That don't sound like a vacation oh, at all. That's, that's, work that's, on vacation. Yeah, no. You crazy as a bag of dust. That don't sound like a vacation <laughs> at all. That don't sound all. fun. Now, now you got five, maybe six days there. Y'all went crazy night one or two. Now you look like a piece of meat for the next four days. It's nothing to do. <laughs> and These they horny drinking. bitches going to want to be all on there. Uh, and, and they drinking. Champagne. They ready to go. They ready. They're brunching oh, yeah. every day? Oh, yeah. yes. God. Maybe, maybe on the wake fuck, up. Maybe, maybe well, you just fuck well, them Yes, the in the morning. So yeah, let me, no. Oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe you just fuck them on the back end. Day like five, yeah, day we going to come again. alive because I'm popping. <laughs> nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool on that. Okay. Y'all fuck. Y'all friends, I don't know y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all the trust is there. Yo, man, oh not... man, what else do we need to ask Reeves before he leave? We got, we got to the chain. We got the stalker. We got so the threesome tired. etiquette. <laughs> funny, we got the cucking rules. We got the cheating ten times or more. Jesus Christ. Got to the album. <clears throat> got uh, to the beefs. Huh? We got the beefs. Yeah, got the beefs. Got to the beefs. You from Cali, right? Yeah. Hmm. I think that's everything. I'm gonna be mad if I get home and a, a question pop in my head. We talk so much, everything be a blur, and you get home, be like, ah, fuck. Uh, oh, every, every, uh, every day. Fuck. Yo, 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 on the way home. You don't imagine yeah, like, what if I was living in Cali when I was 23, 24 oh, no. years old? I don't. I don't. I really? don't know about it. You want to live out there? I don't know enough about Cali, but I definitely think about it. If you, been if you don't enough, know enough about Cali, think, yeah. then why would Cali be the place to pop in your mind when you think about it? Because when I see stuff and when I've gone there and when I see just Cali and how it looks and you imagine or you put... It's like um, a good movie, like a good movie. A good movie could take you and put you in that scenery. Like, you never watch Game of Thrones and you wonder, like, yo, if I was back there, I would have been fucking them niggas up. No, well, you, you watched it. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. But I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. You wouldn't. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I feel you, though. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't, though. Uh, no, you wouldn't. I, I was outside. They'd have had your ass hanging on one of them no, spikes out there, too. It would have been. Right there, you, Ned Stark, the rest of you niggas, right? It would have been. It would have been. It would have been running around popping the bread. Yeah, that nigga, them little shreds. It'll whoop no, no, ass. No, right. You ain't one light skinned nigga on that show. And that's for a reason. That's for a reason. Oh, ain't one light skinned nigga on that show. <laughs> Think I won't fuck John Snow up. You out your mind, nigga. But yo, like a good show, a good movie, it'll put you back in those times. And in so your you'll prime or with these knees? Uh, with these knees? No, they got me. I'm a shooter. Okay. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm with you shoot him, you know what I'm saying? But That'll do it. No, so when I see Cali or when I watch his show or, you know what I'm saying? You be like, damn, I wonder what it would have what been like for me to be over there. What, so, Young so and in my prime. So predict further. Like, um, I was watching uh, All American. Oh, All my American. God, don't say that. Don't say that. Well, Cause that's not. <laughs> you see how you start laughing. That ain't Cali. That's not like that, that. Just ain't we hate Cali, that. Nigga. We hate that shit, yo. Wow. Like that niggas like call all American like they, like they even related to L. A. in any type of way. Shape, I didn't before. say Gangsterville, nigga. No, I said but I'm LA. saying that you should never of watch all American and be like, it. I wish I was. What is that show? How do you know what that is? You don't know all American. No, weird ass no. show on Netflix. It's it's weird. What is that? It, it I like is that show. Weird. It's weird. Like what, that. what is that show? Out there, so maybe like, can you explain to the fun? audience and uh, parks? So All American All is a show based on loosely based on a dude that grew up in California. He grew up in Com um, Compton, right? No, he grew up in Crenshaw, which Crenshaw, don't even I mean. make no fucking sense. But because you can't grow up in Crenshaw, dog. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Look, sorry. Nigga grew up in <laughs> North. <laughs> nigga grew up in North, and then his man lived in Livingston and Short Hills, and was like his. Father's best friend, and he grew up basically um, between the two communities. So he went to Beverly High, then he would go to Crenshaw, and then like his life yeah. just played out from that. He was like one of the best receivers in the state, and he got a scholarship. So it's like Fresh Prince, but all in the same city. Yeah. It's yeah. literally yeah. like, yeah, kind but like, like that. Yeah. Yeah. But he goes back, back, but it's back and forth. Fresh Prince forth. never went. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's the same yeah. city, so he was. Yeah, yeah. so kind of like that. You know it's what I'm saying? Though. He goes like, like the good part, you like the bad part. I, fuck I love that shit. Yeah, so again, whether it's, it could be boys in the hood, off. you still will put yourself <laughs> in that scenario <laughs> and think what it would have been okay. like to be around in that shit. Like heavy, heavy, heavy in gang what, culture. What or whatever do you the think? Case may be. How do you picture your life if something like that happened? What would be different? I don't. I, again, you just wonder. It, le it leaves your brain to ponder. But you never wonder past that. You never try to like figure it out. You know how we joke around sometimes like if I lived over here, I'd yeah, have I'd about have ten kids. Yeah. I told them niggas if I grew up uptown, it would have been over. <laughs> Fourteen kids. Ain't no Spanish girls be fertile. Man. <laughs> 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 so stupid, yo. Something about this feet just keep getting going. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, this thing is so stupid, yo. But... <laughs> oh, man. Right, man. Listen, I think that this has been an amazing podcast. <laughs> yo, my you guys have been no, awesome. Right. Rees, if you want to do some nighttime shit while you're out here. I'm, uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm a because uh, hey, I'm fan. definitely not doing nothing, so I'm gonna take you. You ain't paying the electric bill again. No, it's paid. It's, it's fucking it. Africa, <laughs> yo, my nigga. You about to turn into a popcorn? I'm actually okay. Got my jacket on. It's I'm hot as hell okay. over here. Ish, I literally watched you ask the guy to turn that thing. It's cold. It's cool I over here. It's just because y'all doing the on the couch. Oh damn. It's the, yeah, it's the lights and shit. Yeah, I feel the breeze. Mm. Yeah, it's blowing on flip. Not you mm. no more. <laughs> Why would y'all let him do that? Flip closed it because the air be coming down mad cold. Oh. Fat niggas is weird with the hair, right? Like they don't <laughs> fat niggas. I get up there. Like, Yo, close them. This nigga like a little kid. Yo, fat close niggas nigga. can't be in control when of the When I vent. walked out the podcast, nigga, you punished me by making me burn up in here, nigga, by closing the yeah, vent. Yeah, right. And we opened it back. He was trying to get you in shape for WWE. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. shit. Oh, That's man. funny. Um, all right, I don't have nothing else for reason. I don't think I have anything else for Big Mel. <laughs> Or is your Yo, you don't feel like we jumped you, right? No. Pause. How come okay. you don't never come to our aid when they start saying that <laughs> bullshit, though? Where? No. Oh, <laughs> shit. Y'all right. <laughs> yeah. 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 got it. Yeah. We out. New Joe Biden.